recordings on. Hey, uh, YouTube archives. And hey, Twitch people that are watching this right now. My name is Toucan Star. I will be DMing uh, tonight. And I am joined by, we're going to start with the top. That would be me, right? Yes. <laughs> okay, are I'm Patat. I play the character Baloney Crisis. He is a human bard. He is, I don't know, emo, pessimistic, you know, the usual. And yeah. Uh, uh, I'm someone who shall not be named. Uh, I play Lorcan, uh, high elf bard. Uh, 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 yeah. So mysterious. Hello. Well, hello. Hi. Hello? Yes. My name is Fallu, and uh, I'll be playing Mimi Dank, the Barbarian Dwarf, currently level 3. And next is Vega. Oh, the I'll, I'll shout you out, Sam. The, the, this popcorn delicious. Hi, everybody. I am Dr. Vega Punk. I am the portrayer of Gavalt Zervan, the wizard. It's currently in a down somewhat philosophical mood at the moment are than that continuing this journey explaining things about him would be complicated but let's just say he had a pretty interesting encounter with the god of death other than that this this twist stream is, is sponsored by act two microwave popcorn you go to your local walmart and get them for five dollars it's pretty good you're popcorn, not man. plugging like, walmart time. right now <laughs> God damn it. I was saving my first plug for KFC. What the heck, this Vega? This isn't even your stream <laughs> plug and thing. Next person. Uh, Frast, you're up. Oh, I'm Frast. I'm playing uh, Jang John. I'm a uh, half-orc barbarian who used to be a used weapon so Woman. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So it's a man, woman. Uh, loyal, you're up. Um, I'm loyal, and I'm gonna play Hideki. He's a tiefling warlock, servant of the god of death. All right, now you're up, Sam. Uh, I'm Sam. Sometimes known as Sam of Thirteen on like just sites. My character is Single Nugget, who is a gnome ranger. Mm. It's a little odd, except he's fun to play as, and he's a little weird, and sometimes a bit evil. <laughs> All right, Slim. Hey guys, it's Goat Agent. Shout out to my channel. Um, yeah, I'm playing um, Slim Tissue. Uh, she's a elf uh, ranger. And uh, yeah. All right, SK, you're up. Hey guys, uh, my name is Schlubs. I you guys probably know me as the big brother of the famous Twitch streamer Lil Check. He's really good at Fortnite. Uh, I'm playing D and D with my friends. I'm currently assuming the character of Strudel Kitty four four two seven. I'm like half dragon, half something human. I think I'm really fat, and um, yeah, I'm just you know rolling along. Yeah. Dragon more. Literally dragon more. rolling, <laughs> making his way downtown. Thank you. All right, dragon guys. More. I hope you guys are excited uh, for today's uh, little session. Um, little, little. We're, we're going back to the cabin where we left off. Everybody just got a little rest. A couple of characters uh, got some arrows ready for the next adventure. And um, I'm gonna let you guys take it away. Uh, you're just now getting done with your rest, and uh, you know that uh, Don Box wants you guys or uh, wants your help, but only after the next memory. It should also be stated that uh, Jang also created her uh, totem. Yep. And uh, she took inspiration from Mimi's totem. <laughs> they did so well. Um, they both rolled, I think, was it Nat 1's? <laughs> we both rolled oh. Nat 1's when creating the totem. God damn it. <laughs> I don't know where oh, I don't know where Loki. I don't know where Loki. that one wasn't uh, for the goddamn totem. <laughs> I don't know where Loki slept, but Gavel's outside the house. But okay. Okay, sure. so Gavel's outside the cabin. Um, yeah, probably slept, slept, probably leaned on a tree and fell asleep. Uh, you guys don't see Akuja anywhere. She's uh, she's gone right now. 
Oh no! I wanted to get her number. Uh, you Bones, do not just met you. You do see a little crazy. skeleton like sweeping up, and Don watching him very carefully. <laughs> hey Don, why are you watching that skeleton Shh. thing? They can attack at any moment. Why don't we attack them? He's gonna attack us with a broom. He's cleaning the cabin. I'll wait till he's done to attack him. I'm gonna <laughs> clean. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, yeah that's what I'm clean. He'll clean up the cabin, and then I'll clean up his skull. And uh, yeah, that's all he's doing right now. He's just watching that skeleton clean. What? Uh, what's the time, oh. Dave? Uh, you probably well. don't know. I say probably because there's always nat twenties fucking <laughs> rolling around if you guys want to roll for it, but it's daytime. It it seems like it's like afternoon time. Mm. Wait, we had a little rest and it's afternoon. Yeah. A short rest is consider it like an extended lunch break. You set you basically set up a campfire, eat lunch. Yeah, like you, sure. you guys were just doing some prep work before the memory. Mm -hmm. Alright, so are we ready to jump into this memory? Yes. Can I so just, approach the tablet? Yep, you can, you can approach the tablet and touch it. Uh, okay. Mimi, Mimi, you're so great. That. Okay. Uh, Thank you. You guys uh, touch the tablet and one after another uh, disappear and uh, reappear. Each you of you... Touch the tablet? Each of you are in a... Small, dark, cramped position right now as you uh, finish, like, touching the tablet. And it's fairly uncomfortable for Strudel Kitty and Lorcrin. Lorcrin being really tall and Strudel Ki Kitty being a little plump. Uh... Strudel, you're, you're, claustroph you're claustrophobic, right? I lay down. Uh... <laughs> Well, you can't lay down. You're kind of like scrunched in oh. right now, Lorcrin. Damn. Oh. Uh, this is just how I like. Can it. I try to find my way out of here? Yeah. I'm to feel yeah. Claustrophobic. You, uh, yeah. you feel around, and it feels like you're in sort of a crate or box. You can. And uh, Gavel, you're getting wet. Ship to Kenya. Wild. Can I, can I kick the uh, out of my crate? Uh, yeah. Roll athletics for me. Can I try to as well? Yeah, uh, yep. Go ahead. Anybody that wants to break out of their box or try to with athletics, go ahead and roll. Uh, I'm chilling. <laughs> the hell is this? <laughs> I feel very <laughs> secure in this box. But I guess for the sake of progression. Wait, just just athletics? Like, there's nothing else, correct? Yeah, just athletics. Uh, Lorcrin, you're trying to break through, but you really can't get uh, any uh, leeway. Same with Slim Tissue. Uh, oh. She's trying, but she. Hideki actually uh, is able to open the top of his uh, follow oh, or oh. Uh, <laughs> Mimi Dank. Uh, <laughs> you just see a oh. tiny finger, uh, Hideki, as you raise out of your crate, a little like dwarf <laughs> finger, like rolling around. <laughs> He's barely like sliding out, and uh, Typical, you just see Jang break <laughs> the box. Just she comes out in an X X formation as box pieces fly everywhere and I'm gonna put up on stream what you guys see and I'm going okay, to try okay. to load so is it, it. Just, is it just me who broke out of the box uh, you and Hideki and uh, everybody else is kind of stuck uh, uh, you guys hear some gargling from the farthest box down I'm gonna load it up in D&D &D stream <laughs> yeah that's Gavelt right now <laughs> Gavelt's <kinda laughs> got stuck in a bad situation <laughs> How many sessions has Gavel uh, ended up almost you, drowning? Can I try to open the top of my box? Uh, well, you're you're like beating on it, but you're not uh getting through. Uh, Hideki and Jang are out though. Oh, uh, really quickly, do we have our weapons or that's not? Uh, yeah, you have your weapons. Oh yeah. Okay. I, why didn't I use okay, it? Okay. Uh, okay. Can uh, I try to open, can I try to rush over to Gavel and try to open his box or uh, at least move it? Like, yep, yep, you can, uh, you can, uh, go and you can easily open it from the outside. Okay. So, uh, can I, oh, can me and Hideki try to open up everyone's boxes? Uh, yep, yep. You guys approach, uh, Strudel Kitty, he's like, he's just chilling, but you see a little, like, ah. bit of lizard skin poking out one of the hoes in the, or cracks in the box. So hey you guys. can tell it's him. 
<laughs> you wanna you wanna join me? There's enough space for all of us. Oh gosh. So it, it give out of the box. Yeah, yeah, you. you're out of the box. All right, I guess <gasps> get me out of here then. We'll find a bigger box. And uh, you guys see this room, and it looks like there's a hoe in the side, and water's pouring in. Oh, I thought you said a hoe. I'm like, I'm not out of the box yet. A hoe. Who needs a box when you can eat? Yeah, beers? like. As the water's filling in, Strudel Kitty's kind of now floating in his box. Like, <laughs> are those are those stairs going upstairs or downstairs? They're going upstairs. Hey guys, we should go up the stairs. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry, heading my way towards the stairs. How, how, how fast get us is out? You filling in with water? Uh, not like too fast, but uh, you, you guys might want to like plug that up if you can. Oh, uh, can I can, can I, I open all? Okay. Can I open well, all the boxes? That, yeah, you can open How all many the boxes. Are... As the water is filling in, could we just plug the holes <laughs> first, please? Yeah, plug the holes like, first, guys. Wait, can I try to plug working... it up with my leather armor? Actually, um, we have you blanks see... from the Wait, wait, wait. Yeah, you wait, can... you see a belt walk towards the water? Anyway, now, what does this water look like? Uh, it's, wait, just... It's, just it's just blue water. It's salty. You can tell it's salt, it's salt what water. What does this water look like? He just, he just, I mean, Wet. it does, it does matter, actually. Um, you see Gabelle put his hand in the water, and you see him use the water cantrip, the shaped water cantrip, and just freeze the water. Okay, the water, uh, uh, stills in place, and as you were riding the wave, Strudel Kitty, it, the box kind of gets stuck, and then Whee! you fly out of the box toward the stairs. <laughs> um, I, I would like to open all the boxes. What okay. the hell, Gabelle? I was surfing. Uh, well, there's still a hoe in the side, though. And, uh... But, uh, yeah, I'll say you go and, uh, open the boxes. Roll an investigation check for me. Um, Slim. Oh, yeah. and I By need you guys, uh, here in a little bit, I'm gonna have everyone just roll a straight d20. And that's how we're going to take initiative when out of combat for now on. Okay. So people don't uh, talk do you, over each like, other. Do we roll a, do we add our, so no, we no, don't add no initiative. initiative? Yeah, no okay. initiative. We'll just, I, I rolled a 10 for investigation. Okay, 10 for investigation. <laughs> Three. Uh, uh, <laughs> see, see a vote. Are we see all rolling? Yeah, yeah oh, uh, no. everybody roh roll that d20 real quick so we uh, can have the, yeah. like, uh, <laughs> set up. <laughs> oh, well. Remember to call out your rolls. <laughs> I call. I rolled a three. I'm not. I, got I rolled I eleven. Three. Do you want to be first, Lorcrin, or second? Uh, I didn't even think I was out of the box yet, so I guess I'll go first. No, this is no, your I, initiative. I think, yeah, no. yeah, you're out, you're out of the box, though, Lorcrin. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, like when we're in combat, this is gonna be the order we act in. No, no, you this is out of combat. This is out of combat. This is the order. This oh, is the order oh, after how we talk. Oh, this yeah, is the order after how we. Yeah, this is the order after how we talk. Like and how you interact with things. Okay. Uh, I'm a. Okay. Don't care. Okay. All right. He'll okay, be second. So he'll be second. I'll, go, uh, I'll be second. I'll just go with the flow. Okay. So first is Mimi. Dink. Okay. Is someone going to like put the list when you work it all out then? Um, I'm writing it down right now so we can keep track of it. Because it'll yeah, get I'm bumped. Work. And um, the second would be Lorcrin. I'm just going to put Lork. Uh, who is third? Who got the third? Single. Time? Single? Okay. Sam. Then Potato. Single Nug. Then Patat. Wait, how are you deciding oh. who goes first between Lork and Mimi? Uh, they just chose. Mimi oh, said he asked. was going first. Yeah. They already picked uh, Yeah, I don't care. Why am I the only one you guys don't refer to as the character name? I, I oh, wrote down the tag and realized my mistake. Baloney Crisis. Alright, so who's <laughs> after Baloney? Is it Hideki? I Hideki. think... Yeah, yeah it's Hideki. Hideki... And then, then it's Gavel. Hideki Gavelt. Alright, who then, after that? Strudel Kitty or a uh, single? I'm muscle. picking me because I rolled first. Okay, I Strudel Kitty fair. or Slim. Yeah, me, then Slim, and then the person who rolled the two, which is Jay. lasagna is a sandwich. 
Zhang <laughs> Zhang, change nine. your name. All right, we got it. We got everybody down. All right, you guys are out of the boxes. Uh, Mimi, you are up first. I'm going to say, Slim, you investigate. Or I'm going to tell you what you find uh, when it gets to your turn in the interaction. Okay, so I can investigate the boxes then? Uh, you can. You can. Okay, well, that, then that's what I'll do. Okay. All right, so you investigate. Roll an investigation check for me. <laughs> okay. Thirteen. Thirteen. Okay. Um, anybody else want to investigate these boxes in this turn order or no? I know Slim does, so I have Slim and Mimi. I'll check them out. Okay, Lord Crowlin, investigation check for me. Uh, Not hard to beat. Minus one in this investigation. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Oh. Oh, 10? Okay, okay. Anybody else want to try? Like, Sam, do you want to check it out? There's also still a hole in the side of the wall. Can I make the hole bigger? Uh, well, you're investigating right now. <laughs> I attempted it, but I only got a 7. Okay, so... 7. Baloney's got a 7. I guess I could have actually plugged the... I guess I'll check too. Might as well. Mimi, Mimi, you're our highest, you're our highest roll at the moment, so... Can I uh, make a perception check on this place? Uh, yeah, you g go ahead and roll that too, uh, Gavel, in all in the same... Okay. Uh... Oh, gosh. Oh, rolls aren't very good at the moment. Uh, single got a six. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay, you know, that's okay. You you guys are not in combat, so this is like the time to get the... Let's whatever. hope that... Can I just Maybe, make a... What are you all check? about? Yeah, you can make a perception check, too. Uh, Gavelt wrote a 10 for perception. His journal, you should totally make a perception. Not natural 20. All right. Nah, I'll let you Modified guys perceive. 20 for perception. Uh, all right, uh, I'll start, I'll, I'll just go with Mimi. Uh, the boxes just seem to be uh, filled with some kind of liquid, like uh, bottles. You're not sure what they what they are, uh, but in one of the boxes, you do find this. And I'm bringing it up on the stream for our viewers to see. And then I will uh, bring it up on uh, the maps. And... That's what you guys see. I'm going to put these side to side so we can, you guys can see both at the same time. Um, and we're in my maps page. Love in the art direction. <laughs> uh, I hope that... Is that like a portrait? You guys see that? No, that, it, it seems like an amulet that you found. Uh, or some kind of... It's oh. like stone. It's like a stone carving kind of with a little color. Uh... Mm. Mimi, you find that amongst the bottles and crates. Okay, um, I pick that up and put it in my pouch, and I don't, I don't mind the bottles. I leave them as they are. But, but I, I mentioned that there are bottles that are filled with unknown liquids to others. Do we, do we see Mimi like find the amulet or? Can I... Well, if he decides to tell you, then you would see. Other than that, you just see him scrounging around through boxes because okay. you're doing that right now too, and you you guys are just seeing bottles. Can I open one of the bottles and sniff the contents? Uh, yeah. One second. Um, on perception check for Gavelt and Jang. Uh, Gavelt, you can you can tell this is a boat. You don't know the size of it though. Uh. <laughs> Jang, you uh, know that this is not a cargo ship. This is actually like a uh, ship used for like expeditions or adventuring. Like, so you have a, uh, you guys are traveling somewhere right now. Is what what you can get off of this? 
Okay. Okay, now Lorcan, uh well I guess we'll go back up to the top. Uh Mimi, is there anything you wanna do uh now? I will try to attempt and uh plug the hole. Okay, attempt to plug the hole. Uh let me see what what would that even be <laughs> to plug the hole. Plug the hole as in plug the hole as in with the water stone or something? What are you plugging yes. in with? It's frozen. The boards from the boxes. Yeah, the, I mean, the, uh, there's no more water coming in because you uh, have the water stagnant, but uh, you still need to plug up that hole. Oh, my understanding yeah. was that water, the the immediate water we had was frozen, but that more water was still coming in because of the hole. Is that not the case? It's, yeah, it's like that's what I thought. Too. It's like stuck in the hole. So you guys, uh, Gavelt would have to release his cantrip, and you guys would uh, fill up that hole. Oh, or try to well, I, I still feel I still feel more comfortable with the uh, hole plug. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, <clears throat> you have an hour. You have an hour before the ice falls. Before the ice installs. Gavel, do you know any good hole plugging spells? <laughs> <I could think. laughs> um, uh, you could roll me use... a athletics if you want to try to uh, plug up that hole, uh, Mimi. Okay. I could freeze. I'll 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 try my best. I'll try as well. Ah, okay. 13. Okay. Anybody else that want to, like, oh, help them? Oh, press. What is with oh. my 22s on athletics? Oh, okay, I will I will just say that, uh... Melt. Here comes Jen. Yeah, those two... Those two... <laughs> Gavelt Jen. releases a spell, and those two are able to, uh, make shift, like, with the nails and, uh, the paddle as a hammer, uh, to... <laughs> <laughs> plug up the hole <laughs> from any more water coming in. Uh, Strudel Kitty steps on a nail. <laughs> <laughs> and he, uh, Strudel Kitty, what's your uh, what's your armor class? <laughs> he, I need a tetanus shot. <laughs> he, uh, he, he just thinks to himself like I should have stayed in that box. <laughs> Actually, are there any boxes? Are there any boxes around? Yeah, there's still boxes. I would like to approach a box and just go inside of it. Okay. So, I'll say you do that. You have, you got to see some bottles being thrown out of the box. And they hit the wall. And Lorcan, as, as they hit the wall, you can tell that uh, these bottles are holding uh, some kind of magic liquid. It's not water. Uh, you can sense the magic on it, though. Water is pretty magic liquid. That's true. Anyone um, want Arcana check? Can I can I over to where Lorcan is? Uh, can I drink it? Well, we'll we'll uh we'll say like that all was Mimi's turn. Uh, Lork, uh, you want to drink it? <laughs> no, no, never mind. Not with that. Not with that answer. No, I, don't <laughs> I mean, want to drink it. I mean, you can drink it if you want. <laughs> Let no, I'll pass. Uh, okay, okay. You, you just hear I, Strudel from the box. Let him drink it. <laughs> Can I sniff it and try to find out what it is? Yeah, yeah. Roll. Jug, uh, jug, 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 I guess with jug, sniffing, I want you jug, to jug. roll a. Uh, actually, you know, you know it's magic. Uh, I'm not. Fine. Roll a nature. Ch roll a nature check for me. The fuck nature. I, that would oh. be an arcana. This is magic, right? Wouldn't that be like more survival? Uh, well, he's sniffing it, so I'm gonna I'm gonna say okay, like you right. nature on this one. Man's primal instincts. Like survival, maybe I don't know. He rolled a 17. This one, this one's hard. Um, you're not sure of the uh, like what this does, but you've seen stuff like this before. They're usually found in fountains by uh, temples. Uh, of a deity. Is it deadly? Deadly? Uh, you don't know. Yes. It would depend. You know. Well, you know that it would depend on the deity mm -hmm. that uh, this liquid or the fountain this liquid came out of is uh, associated I, uh, with. Just, just take, take a sip. Could I take a bottle of it I? and put it in my backpack? Oh wait, no, it's not my turn. Yeah, I would also like to. I would also like to take okay, a bottle. Okay, so of you want to? Okay, Lorcan, I'll say you can uh, slide a bottle in your cloak. Uh, single nugget. Do you want to do anything? Well, can I check it somehow? Uh, yeah. How would you like to check it? Like, would you? I mean, taste it. Oh, do you want to taste it? 
Yeah, my character's dumb enough to do that. <laughs> oh my god, alright. So... Jesus. My man. Uh, single Nugget goes over to taste it, and uh, as you do, you begin to glow, Single Nugget. You go, buddy. And you guys see as uh, little sprouts of flowers start growing out where Single Nugget had uh, hair. It's now like plants. Uh, uh Gavel just slowly closes his He feels pretty. He feels funny. And a couple flowers you... go where his beard is. Like, there's a couple flowers if in his beard. Just... Can I... I think Single just drank fertilizer. <laughs> Yo, can I open up uh, another bottle and see if it has the uh, same scent? Uh, well, it's not your turn, but it's Baloney's turn. Bologna... You could, like, request Baloney to do that. Like, you know, mention the idea. Mm. Are you gonna mention the idea, or am I free to go? Uh, you're free to go. <laughs> you're free to go. You're free to go. <laughs> like you could check okay. later. You have one in your cloak. Uh, Baloney, Baloney just grabs one as well. Okay, so you you grab one too. Okay. Um, next person up is Hideki. Hideki, you want to do anything? You guys got the water plugged up uh, now, and you have some bottles of um, uh, pretty much god juice. You just don't know what god. Can can I do a religious religion check to see what god? Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'll say make this with advantage, okay. since you're uh, a warlock to the god of death. He's a key. He's a key. You have plus five in religion, by the way. Oh, do I? Yeah. Even well, better. You, you got the religion, or you got the advantage, so. Oh, God. God. All right. Damn. Damn. You just gotta see Hideki think for a little bit, but nothing's coming to mind, Hideki. You can't. Guys? You can't really I put think a thumb this on it. Jesus water. Damn it. You think this is what? It's your turn, Gavel. We're both looking at everybody. How many bottles are on the ground? Or how many bottles are around them? Well, Strudel Kitty smashed a few. And the ones that were left, I want to say you guys, like, picked up. Like, three Wait, of you guys have I bottles. Them? You were making way to get in the box. Anyway. Bye. Um... <laughs> so the boat turns towards the, look towards the stairs. You can turn, look, look, look at everybody else. We should keep moving. Uh, I guess if everybody agrees to that, we can, like, continue the turn order, so, like, going upstairs. It would be so you leading, no though, Gavelt. I, I would like to drink one of the bottles. Okay, uh, you guys have three bottles. Mimi, you would want you want to drink one? Wait, so there are no more bottles? like? No, like, no. He could okay. get some liquid off the floor, like, uh... <laughs> like single nugget did though. I, w I want some flowers on my beards too. On my beard. Okay, so uh, do you do you uh, drink a little bit off the floor, or do you want to ask one of them for their bottle, Mimi? Um. Would anyone want to give me their bottle? No. Definitely not. Okay. Well, I I, I guess I'll uh, look from the floor then. Okay, you look from the floor. Um, actually, I'm gonna roll for this. Oh god. All right. So as uh, Mimi Dank uh, starts like dog licking some uh, <laughs> some of the strange liquid on the floor, uh, you guys see uh, starting from his neck vines grow and they take the form of a dress and now Mimi Dank has a vine dress on. You look pretty, oh, but... This is fancy. Jesus. And, uh... Ah, in your faces, I have a dress now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mimi Dank, he's looking pretty spiffy uh, with his, uh... like... green, uh... Vine dress. It kind of looks like poison ivy. 
as the skin turns a little light green too. Yeah, but I don't have the eyebrow up just looking at all this like I'll figure this out later. <laughs> so he about that. Okay, uh <laughs> do you guys uh wanna continue on upstairs? Yeah. Alright. I'll go upstairs wait, is it are we done well, with the it, turns? It, uh it'll be your turn to go uh when we get upstairs, uh Strudel. Okay, I'm cool with that. All right. Um, I'm gonna let me bring it up. Technically, Gavell's in the front, so he's like the first of the two. Yeah. as you lead the party, you see this upstairs, and the first thing you see is um, the door leading to outside on the side of you, and in front of you, you see table and chairs. Some barrels are smashed, and there's blood uh, on the table. <gasps> Someone had a party without me. I don't look at uh, the. just looked at Kitty when you said that. But then you know, just walks across the room, just looks around. Okay. Um, uh, do you want to do anything, uh, Gavel? Uh. Okay. I, I'm trying to figure out. Should I make a perception check to see if this place is sh like shaking like a ship? Like not shaking, but What's the word? Rocking. Yeah, rocking like uh, I'll it's say you like you can tell you're on you're at sea right now. Mm. <clears throat> okay. Um, see, um, Gavel walk towards the table with blood just to investigate to see if we can find anything. Something wrong with the investigation check. Okay. Somebody write the order for Boomy, as in the turn order. I'll post it in. Oh, post. Nat one. Okay, so Gavelt, as you walk over to start investigating, you kind of actually let me let me roll for this. Oh yeah. Okay, you kind of you kind of stumble a little bit, and you catch yourself on the table. But as you catch yourself. You sl your hand slides on blood, and you get blood all over the parchments that were on the table. And, like you kind of smear it. Nice going. Oh, I hate boats. And uh, now it is your turn, Strudel Kitty. All right, all right, all right. Well, as we can see, someone clearly had a great party here, wasn't invited, not too peeved about it, considering this is the underworld, but next time there is a party, let me know. Okay, what I would like to do is, I guess, observe the setting, like, perception check, blood, okay. uh, kind of figure out what, what's going on around here. Yeah. All right, let me see, do I have any modifiers to the perception? Um... Plus one. Okay. Sorry about that. Okay. What do you see, Strudel? <laughs> Nothing. My eyes are closed. I forgot to open my eyes. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> in, instead of looking around, uh, Strudel Kitty... Actually, let me let me roll for this. Uh, Strudel Kitty starts sniffing. <laughs> you actually smell something very familiar. Oh, uh, Shrudel Kitty. Oh my god. Um, it's someone like you. <gasps> Mama? There is a dragonborn uh, that has been in here. Guys, guys. I smell a dragon. Born. What? <laughs> you see <laughs> Jane. <laughs> Jane oh, clutches her sword in terror. Born. <laughs> All right, and now we're Thank moving you. on to Slim. Slim, it's your turn. Slim, 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 I smell a dragon. Oh my god! Hey, uh, are, are, are all the barrels smashed? Uh, no, there are two, uh... Can I investigate the barrels? Yeah, roll an investigation <laughs> I thought you wanted to smash me. the remaining barrel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not... <laughs> <laughs> oh no! What modifier is that? Sorry. One D twenty plus hashtag. 
<laughs> no viable alternative. <laughs> Something mm. went wrong. Mm. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> bad, guys. Oh my god, I rolled an 8. Rip me. Okay, so you just see uh, Slim her uh, walk over and she just, you know, the like Batman thank emote that I like mess with all the time where he's like stroking his chin. Mm. She's kind of doing that and looking at the barrels right now. Um, and now, <laughs> Chang, do you want to like help her out or do anything? Uh, what's the, on the main desk up there, what's that, like, thing, what's that thing up there, like, uh, right to the... Okay, do you walk up there? I walk up there. Okay, yeah, you see uh, a, it I looks don't... like a chest. By the I... way, I don't see the map for the second floor, whatever floor this is, by the way. Oh, I need to add that onto the Discord, sorry about that. But yeah, I only know about... because I'm, I'm looking at... Yeah, I had it on the stream, my bad, my bad. Yeah, I open that chest. Oh, let me open okay. the stream. All right, you open the chest. Um, there are some claw marks on the chest uh, already, and you open it up, and there is nothing in there. Crap. So now can I go over and help Slim Tissue with the barrels? Well, I'll say it's uh, Mimi Dank's turn now. Like, I try to give everybody an action on their turn. But... Can I wor walk towards the door and put my ear on it if I um if I hear anything? Uh, yeah, roll a perception check for me. Perceiving with those ears. Mm hmm Uh, perception plus one. Eleven. Eleven. Oh yeah, you hear some you hear some stuff going on outside. There's, like, moving around and stuff. Uh, you guys are definitely not alone on the ship, Mimi. I turn towards others, and I whisper loudly. Okay. Well, I mean, like, I don't, I don't, like, yeah, like, I convey, convey the in information. Okay, okay. So that we're not alone. Them. What's going on, Lork? It's your turn. Uh, can I open up the drawers on the desk, all of them? Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, uh, that's, I'll say you I walk check up right next to Jang. Uh, you, you see some more like claw marks and stuff on it, and the drawers are for the most part emptied out. Uh, so there's nothing in them? No, there's nothing. There's no, nothing of note in them, just like some papers and stuff. Hmm, can I take the papers? Yeah, you can. Alright, I'll take those and stash those away. It, uh,. It actually looks like a uh, little uh, rally point uh, list, but you don't know the names of the places put on there. Gotcha. Uh, and now it is uh, Single Nugget's turn. You just see them, like, uh, moving through the chest and the drawers. Uh, Slim Tissue still uh, thinking about the barrels. Um, hey, girl. Uh, dog Stella came up to say hi, and uh, you see Mimi like doing some weird thing, like where he's like whispering and waving his hand, pointing to outside. Uh, <laughs> well, I can't really think of what I could do. Do it outside. Investigate, maybe. Yeah, you can. Well, you can help. Uh... You can help Slim if you want, or you can try to get a better look at outside. Oh yeah, he kind of just stared at the barrels, didn't he? Yeah. I uh, can I try to actually look in the barrels then? Uh, yep, yep. Roll an investigation for me. You might find out more that way. <laughs> Unless you roll a four. I think I'm um, joining him as he's staring. <laughs> and he's yep. there. And now, like, seeing and Slim... And I'm stroking my beautiful, beautiful, flowery, grassy uh, beard. Yeah, seeing Slim uh, taking caution from approaching the barrels. Uh, single Nugget, you take note of that, and you do the same thing. You're like, hmm, I'll let one of these other guys try to open that thing in case something dangerous is in there. And uh, we move on to Baloney's turn. 
Can Baloney investigate one of the broken barrels, see if there's anything left over? Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'd say that one wouldn't need a wouldn't need a check. You just uh, go over there, and it, it seems like everything from inside has been taken. Uh, Baloney, you see those same like claw marks that they seen on the dresser and the chest up there uh, on the <laughs> on the barrels that have been smashed. Okay. And Hideki's turn. Uh, Hideki holds his turn, waits to see what everyone else does. Okay, so Hideki's just uh, sitting there. I guess uh, he's a little cautious about uh, stuff going on outside, and it's your turn, Gavelt. <sighs> I am getting older. I'm getting way too old. Let's see. Anyway, now, still have the blood on his hand, right? Yeah. Can you see him thinking back in his mind? So he did get back some of my power. Thinking back to the god of death. I wonder. You know, he began to use shape water again. But this time, can, 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 am I allowed to do this? Because, you know, blood's part of water. Can he manipulate the blood and lift the blood that's on the table up? Um, I want you to roll me Arcana. To see if you have the oh. skill to do that. Interesting. Okay. To like completely get it, but leave the parchment like as it was is what you're trying to do. Like he just wants to like take the blood off his hand while taking some while taking the blood off the table and just put it in a multiple like small balls. Yeah, yeah. But you want the like parchment to be like unstained, right? Or like Something blood like off. Yeah, yeah. Roll an Arcana with advantage for me since you have the cantrip. And I say you, you know, you've been practicing. Oops. Wrong. Wrong stream roll. Hold up. And we'll see what happens. Okay, 23. 23. Twenty-four. 24. Okay. okay, good rows. All right, you guys see uh, as uh, Gavel's hands start glowing, uh, the blood start to lift up off the table in his hand and move into a bottle that he had uh, placed to the side, or a bottle placed to the side. And, uh, yep, you got, for the most part, all the blood off the map. See, they're still stained a little red, but... Uh, uh -huh. They're actually legible now. <laughs> anyway, I see him um, look at somebody since there's like actually, is there actual words on the object or something like that that he took it off, took all the blood off? Uh, it, it looks like maps. It Like there's there's one map with, uh, I think uh, you can see where they start, the, like the starting point, but there's a piece of the map okay. missing. You can tell that. Hmm. Um, I'm gonna turn it over real quick. Actually, you see him look. Be decky. That map over there. Would you like to have it? If anybody's here, hello. Uh, he's muted right now. Okay, whoever's closest to him. I don't know who's closest well, to him. Uh, I'll take it. Me, 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 yeah, me. Strudel Kitty's up next in the order, so. Let's say, yeah, you, okay. Little kitty. Oh, okay. You see, about uh, you see, about the eyes would open, like looking at him. He's still holding on to the. Uh, you see, like Gavel still with his hand out. As you see, the water is still kind of like moving, a little, like waving a little bit in it. Not the water, but the blood. Fine, just don't lose it. I won't. I promise. Okay, Strudel Kitty, you uh, nick the map off the table, and now it's your turn. Hmm. I would like to observe the map. Okay, you observe the map. Um, you have never seen, uh, these formations before. Uh, it's you, slim people. Like, with, you don't, you wouldn't have to make a, make a check, uh, for okay. this. Like, you don't have a lot of map experience, but you don't know where you're at here, uh, on here. You could take it to somebody that might have a little more experience, though. Uh, who here has experience? Hey, guys, um, I'm, I'm really dumb. I don't know where we are. I can't I read walked the map. over there. 
Let me see it. <laughs> like, I don't know why Gavel gave this to me. Like, someone should probably take this and tell us where we are. You just knocked at the thing. You act. You, you act. You act. Why did you give this to me, Gavelt? Never mind. What I do you mean, never mind? <laughs> You're supposed to be this wise, all-powerful, all-knowing wizard. You didn't know that I couldn't read this map? That I couldn't comprehend where we were? All right, I'm, I'm going to say Gavel gets perhaps, the map back, but Slim, do you perhaps I thought Perhaps I thought a little more of you. Perhaps I should not think <laughs> Well, perhaps you didn't think, think at all. Wait, like, like huh? Slim, do you want to try again? I would like to try. <laughs> okay, you roll an investigation check for me. As, no, come on! Oh, no, Slim. He changes hands. He oh, changes hands. Oh, oh, oh my god! He does oh, change god. hands. Slim! <laughs> he rolled a five. Why am I such a clutch? Slim, Slim changes hands and starts thinking. It's now Jinx's <laughs> Hmm. Aren't, like, half the party still checking out that, uh, those barrels? Yes. I'm gonna go over there, woman up, and go, go open the barrels. Jang, please. Okay, Jake. You, wanna, you wanna open them? They seem a Don't little that, tight. I that need that one, or you're gonna end up stroking an invisible bit. <laughs> Athletics for me, Jake. <laughs> okay. Modified... Modified 20. All right, you just see Jang on the one closest to the shelf. Jang just rips the top open. And uh, you guys have a barrel full of bananas. <gasps> Banana. I want one. See, uh, bananas are not dangerous. Dangerous. Are you uh, kidding me? I serious. Two whole action. As, <laughs> as you do that, though, the other barrel shakes a little bit, uh, Jang. Oh, my God. And the stroking begins to get harder with uh, <laughs> Slim and Single over there, like, hmm. Jing, 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 jing. Is it moving? Mm. Is it moving bananas? Can I okay. have a banana? <laughs> moving yes, bananas. you can have a banana. Yes, yeah. I take a banana. Can, can I, I suggest a stab the barrel? Yes, everyone can have a banana. Um, it is Mimi Dank's turn. Um, uh, can I? Uh approach the other barrel yeah, that's moving do. yeah it's not and, moving uh, anymore it just I'm, shook a little I'm bit moving but and um i knock the uh, you see mimi knock the side of the barrel and ask are there moving bananas inside <laughs> i don't know let me ask this banana hold hey on, hold on. are there moving bananas in there <laughs> me where where did my d20 go oh there we go okay um Please, please don't hurt me. As you approach it, um, you see blood coming out from the bottom of the barrel. Okay, and, Mr. Banana, uh, um, I, I, won't, I won't hurt you. The top of the barrel comes up and you see another uh, dragonborn. <laughs> He's uh, black, though. Black dragonborn. You're not a banana. Please, please don't hurt me. That what banana that? is very ripe. Oh, you're a right banana. Away. Right away. I'm not, I'm not going to say any lines now, but is Dawn with us or not? Uh, you guys do not see Dawn. Okay. But <gasps> I literally, I, I literally okay. asked you, like I said, did Dawn come with us Like when we left the cabin? It's okay. Oh. I passed it. Okay, so back back to the to the character to the, in the barrel. Back to the black dragon. Back to the black dragon thing, okay. Okay, I, we won't hurt you. Do you want a banana? Uh, no, no, thank you. You see as he's got a, uh, kind of like a claw going down the side, and he's holding his side like a claw scar. Uh, uh, or brother, wound. what happened to you? I was attacked by kobolds. Kobolds? Yes. What are those? And uh, Mimi, you heard stuff outside, so you instantly like look, look over toward the door. Uh, can I go heal the? Can I go use healing word on the dragonborn? Uh, yes, you can. Uh, roll it for me. Uh, what do I roll? <laughs> oh, for healing word. Uh, can I um? Magic. What What is healing word? Is it? Do you, do you know? D6? Do you Do you know? Uh, Isn't it like one d eight or something? I thought it was one d six plus charisma. Uh, but that. Oh yeah, you know? something about that. 
Uh, um, hang I on. I have my thing open. Give me a minute. How many? How many go balls are there? Oh, healing word is one d four plus charisma. One d four. One d four plus charisma. Yeah. And um, okay. Okay. Good boat. Oh, for, okay, so he gets healed for six uh, points. You see him, the blood stops, but he's still he's still hurt. Thank you, thank you. You are too kind. But please, we must keep this safe. He holds up a piece of paper, and it looks like the same type uh, from where the map was ripped uh, that you've seen, uh, Gavelt. I both saw that. Uh, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to do an action or a bonus action right now. Well, I mean, it's, or, uh, it's, uh, it's, well, Lork did the healing word, so I'd say it's single's turn. He's, he's, like, stroking his uh, chin. Uh, his flower beard. Okay. Actually, I'm gonna roll for the black dragonborn. Oh, nope, he does not even notice that you're wearing a dress of vines, Mimi. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he? I look great on this dress. I, I, I just realized the guy in the dress asked about the, the moving bananas. And, uh, okay, single, do you want to do anything? Or do you want to, like, ask him anything? What? Uh, I want to ask you something. I've never ever used magic before, and obviously I've got some magic. Yeah. So. What, what would you want to try to do? I've got cure wounds. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can you just have to touch him and then roll is is it one D eight for cure cure wounds or cure one D eight plus oh, your wisdom casting modifier. Yeah, your it'll be your wisdom for uh for Ranger. Okay. While while singer, single is healing him, can I ask how many wisdom cobalt is... there are? That, is it normal wisdom, like the modifier for that? Just... Yeah, yeah, modifier for normal wisdom. So plus two. Uh, yeah. He he uh he tells you guys that he's not for sure. An army of kobolds, like he thinks it's like a pirate ship, uh, came to uh to raid his ship. Also, he's. he's oh, okay. Uh, can... Hey, um, brother. Are there any hey. more of you? that were attacked like who were you with my crew we tried to fight them off but sadly we were not able to i are took you... my goal my uh the map we had and hid in this barrel after i was sh uh, struck by one of the kobolds and i ran in here do you know if you're the only one left or are you not sure i'm not for sure i'm sorry mm. don't worry my name is Baldwin, by the way. I hate that name. I will give you a different name. Uh, I will I will not call you Baldwin. But that's my name. I don't care. I don't like your name. You, I uh, suppose you could call me Captain. If that's more suitable. Strudel Kitty just shuns him. Raiders. Yeah, well, in my sense, Raiders, in his mind, Raiders and Draconic, the Raiders, Raiders of Draconic Tongue. How was Singles so. roll for a Cure Wounds? That's what I was about to ask him. Like, did you want to roll that, uh, Single? Yeah. Okay. It's that 1d8 plus 2, so. Oh, okay, okay, yeah, he's feeling a lot better. There's still, like, a scar there. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you, young gnome. Wait, wait. Nope, he still does not notice that you have a flower beard. <laughs> he has great perception. Damn, he must have been hit pretty damn hard in the head. <laughs> He's hopeless. He kind of, like, steps out of the barrel and uh, wanders over toward the door. Okay, I'm using a different dice for him. He doesn't notice anything, and, and he opens the door. And uh, half of you guys... Is this Storm version 2? That, ...that weren't by the uh, the door, as he opens it, you just see a bunch of blue kobolds just look over. 
uh, at the door now being opened. Hey. And I want you guys hey. to roll initiative. Oh. With, with oh, our everyone. modifiers? Yes, yes, with your modifiers this time. Oh, oh. Let me get this oh, right. We're still in this room, man. right? Yeah. I get to add nice that plus day. one. <laughs> <laughs> I get to add that plus a three. Oh, there we go. <laughs> of course. I can't. Oh, there's my. If I get Jane got on that 20. Woo! Take that, Mimi! I think my initiative modifier was plus two, right? My internet just crashed on me on my laptop, so. Um, I'm not for my... sure. Do you want to go first? It's your, next, or it's your next modifier. I'll go first. Great. Exactly what I was thinking. Oh, uh, I will go first from Lork. Lork or single. I'm just going to go with no modifier just to get it out of the way. Oh, well. Wait, I can tell you what it is. I can tell you what it is. Lork, Lork or single. Just roll it and we can add it. Plus two. See, I was even <laughs> Lork, Lork green or single. If it's plus two, I got a five. Uh, I, I guess I'll. Well, we need. Right. So, uh. Who Lork or single. Lorcrin rode 21s. Which one of you guys would want to go first? Wait, Nat 20 doesn't do a 21? It, it's just a 20. Oh, uh, I'll go second. Uh, single can go first. I'm proud of that. <laughs> okay, so single's up first. <laughs> then we got Lorcrin. Who's next? Has Strudel After... Kitty rolled yet? Uh, Jane. 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 Uh, Strudel Kitty? He rolled, seven. yeah, he got a seven. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right, he, he got seven. Uh, who is after Jane? Gavel. With a nine? Is, oh, God. These, these rolls. Is someone yeah. going to list this in the uh, chat room? Uh, right now, I got single, Lork, Jang, Gavelt, and then after that would uh, be Hideki or Strudel. It'd be Strudel, we agreed. Strudel than me. SK. Hideki. Seven. Who is after film? Would it be Baloney with the five? Or no, it'd be Slim with the six. And then. Baloney and Do you want to go first? Do you want to go first? What's Me? that? Oh, she, she, yeah. got a, she got a five uh, follow. She forgot the... Or she didn't know her modifier, so we were just adding that later. Oh, okay. Okay. All right, and okay, let me enough. roll for Baldwin. Ooh. Okay. Uh, Baldwin's actually going first. Oh, wait. Never mind. I got a roll for the Cobalt boys. Oh, yeah, they're they're lot. going after Mimi. So the order is... I'm going to post the order. Uh, okay. For his action, he's shutting the door. <laughs> and uh, put, putting uh, the one barrel <laughs> that's left in front of, or behind the door to brace it. And uh, he's telling you guys that there he's seen six kobolds on deck. I'm assuming negotiations okay. have a question. Gavolt says that. Looking at uh, looking at uh, Skittle over there. Are there any kobolds yeah. inside, like where we are? No, Who's no. Skittle? They're just on, oh, on okay. the deck of the okay. ship. He's seen six of them. Okay. And now I mean, it's, Skittle, uh, Skittle. it is Single's <laughs> turn. You can, like, undo... I'd say since he, like, did the barrel thing real quick, like, out of fear, you guys can undo that uh, without taking any actions. Like, you, it would just be your movement to walk up there and then take that. Or move the barrel. Well, I don't think I'd be a very good person to go and undo it, so I'll just... I'll just make sure that I've got my bow ready. Okay, so you you ready in action then. Uh, now, for this single, you could say, like, what triggers your action. Like, if a cobalt comes through the door, 
you could say that triggers your accent and you would take yeah, a pop so shot if, at them. Yeah, if basically a cobalt... Actually, if I see a cobalt, basically I will just shoot it. Okay, okay, cool, cool. You'll become a triggered gnome. Let me write down held action. Single. And I will mark that out when Who's you use new it. Guy? And now it is Lork's turn. Oh, new okay. guy is that Baldwin guy. I'd like to uh, cast invisibility on myself. Okay, so you, you want to cast invisibility? Um, yeah. That doesn't have. That's a roll for them, ain't it? Uh, to see if they uh, can beat it. Uh, I don't I'll think check so. it. I'll check it, but I think it's just a uh, it's just a plus for him. Okay. Um, go to wizard spells levels zero through uh, nine, because wizards can do it too. Well, I say that that works. Invisibility, invisibility is any creature you touch becomes. A yeah, he can touch himself and become invisible. All right, so uh, Lorcrin is now invisible. Uh, th is that an action spell, or can it be a bonus action? Or does anybody know? I'm trying to find it. Oh, I should have um, had I should have had my uh my spell book ready. I found it. I found it. Um, you reach into the mind of one creature within. No, oh, that's mine. Excuse me. Um, there it is. Creature you touch becomes invisible until the spell ends. Concentration up to one hour. Stir it. Casting time one action. At higher levels, when you cast this spell using the spell slot of third or higher, you can target one additional creature for each slot above level two. Okay. So uh, right now, he can only make he can touch one person invisible, I think. Yeah, I just tap myself. Yeah, okay, you're you're invisible now, and uh, if unless you want to, like, say anything or... Uh, uh anything. no, I stay silent waiting, waiting for an opportunity. Okay, okay, so you're invisible. It's now Jang's turn. Uh, did I get a chance to see how many, uh, kobolds were out there? Uh, the dude, uh, Baldwin told you six of them were on deck that he could see. Fuck it. Uh, I'm Crash, gonna get- this is a PG server. <sighs> I'm gonna ready my, uh, ready my battle axe. Open the door and rage out of there. Okay, rage so out of there. all right, you're raging with the battle axe, and you open up the door. All right, I'm going to uh, break out the actual deck of the boat for you guys in the map. And there's the there's a the nice little deck. Uh, you uh, you come out the door, and as you do, you're going to take two attacks of opportunity. Uh, by two, two yep, two cobalt were uh behind the by the like uh I'm the helm. They were by the helm waiting with arrows. And is that plus my attack bonus? Uh, one or second, my the... dogs are barking. Shh. Baby Nook. Meta gaming. Okay, so uh, they they uh are gonna take a pop shot at you. What is your armor class? Oop, Wait, they get the attacks of opportunity? Yep, they are behind you, and you walked, you walked by them. You said I got. The... No, no, they, they get class... it. They get it. They get two. Uh, armor class is thirteen. Okay, that one just barely hits you. Um, and you are raging. Ooh. Uh, so you are going to take four points of damage from the first arrow that uh, hits your shoulder. And the second one does not hit. It it misses. And uh, okay. Uh, I'd say if you want to roll an attack, you you can't get to the ones behind you, but you can get to one in front of you. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit the ones on attack, and because I'm raging and I am uh pa my totem still works, right? Yep. Yep. I get uh, advantage on melee attack rolls. All right, I'm going to put up the boat, uh, or the ship deck for the viewers. Okay. Uh, 18 to attack. 18 to hit. Eight, I mean, oh, yeah, 18 hits. You get that bonus. All right. Do you have a 
so this picture I'm seeing too, Karen, is this the boat entirely or is that the entire deck? Because it looks kind of zoomed out with the way you drew it. Yeah, it's that's the that's the deck. It's a pretty decent sized boat. Okay, okay. Uh, what do I add to my uh, attack? Is it just is it five? It is. Uh, I think it's your strength plus the two for rage, and then uh, whatever yeah. dice the great access. I think it's a d12. So yeah. Okay. I don't. Do I add proficiency? No, no, no. That's just the hit. No, that's that's only four to hit. Those are some humongous. Nine damage. Things. Okay, nine damage. Yeah, you you swing and slice a cobalt, uh, right in, <laughs> right in the chest. He's not looking too hot. He kind of like snarls at you. And now it is uh, Gavelt's turn. Go Gavelt. Good. Good. Reminder Good. that Good. all of you have an advantage on uh, melee attack rolls. What? Uh, against against yeah. people. Oh, did, five did feet. you attack recklessly? It's uh no, it's against people five feet uh by Jang. So that one cobalt that oh, he's okay. in melee with, you guys have an advantage on attack rolls. Why are you? Damn, you think about why must she make things so difficult? Anyway, now you see. Gavel hold on to this piece of leather. You see this white aura with these golden rings go around his uh go around his body as he casts mage armor and they eventually disappear. So as he casts mage armor, let me do some math here because his armor class becomes 13 plus the dexterity modifier. So his armor class is I think he um, should be up to 15, right? Or is it, 16. Uh, 16. Yep, 16. 16. Okay. Anyway, now he. Yeah, I can't see the entire map, but uh, I, I, I'm assuming. Is, uh, how, how close are the cobalts? Is or, how close are the cobalts to the door? I'd say the one. Uh, there's like three close to the door. Is uh, is mage armor an action spell or is it a bonus action? Because if it's an action spell, you, you'll That's have to do a. Yeah, you'll have to do a bonus action. Uh, or something about uh, this I know. action. Okay. I know. Um, so how so how how far out is Jang? Like how many feet? Uh, Jang's probably like ten feet outside the door, right now. And the there, group of and the group of cobalt. What's uh, the furthest one out? Uh, there's one uh, right beside her, and then there's two more uh, five feet away from that one. So you got three okay. in a, in fifteen feet range. That's it. Yeah. Okay. If you think of uh, after he cast, you know, mage armor, you see him just tap the tip of his foot on the ground, and you see like the silver mist go around him. You just see this. You see like while Jang is like dodging and you know sword fighting these things, like the silver mist go past her. He just used misty step and appeared thirty feet out there. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. That'll. Uh, oh dear. All right. So uh, you appear behind the the first three cobalts. Um, you're in, you're, I, I'd say you're like by the, uh, very front of the ship, um, uh, past that, like, grating to the lower deck, and you are now, uh, in front of six cobalts, and then, uh, there's two on top by the helm right now with arrows as we move over to Strudel Kitty's turn. Interesting. <laughs> Uh, so you guys count eight in all. So Strudel Kitty looks towards the cobalt that Jang had done damage on. Ooh, looks like it's close to death. Now's my chance. Strudel Kitty whips out his electric blue iridescent sword into the air. Looks really epic. You run out the door? I run out the door okay, and I'm charging. Taking... I'm charging <laughs> at this cobalt. You're taking two attacks of opportunity. As you go out the door. No, it's it's worth asking, but how close are these two? Uh, they're like cobalt. right on the edge there. And I'm attacking the cobalt that Jang yeah. okay. Uh, so. does does a 14 hit you, Strudel Kitty? I'm taking damage. Yeah, there was two above the door. Like you seen Jang get shot in the back. Oh god, dang it! I <laughs> forgot about those. He has an armor class of 14. Okay, that hits then. 
And you take five points of damage from the first arrow. As it gets you right where that nail got you in the foot. Ow. And the second one completely misses. <laughs> you blind cobalt. Can you check your HP, by the way? My HP, let's see. Uh, constitution, 12 plus 1, 13 minus 5. Uh, you have... Eight. No, Eight? You, you have... Uh, I updated your, your thing. Let me... I'm looking at the updated version. It says level 3. You have, you have 26 health. Yeah, oh, so oh, you, oh, you oh, got 21 health left. Oh, pff, I'm eating these for breakfast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll to attack. He's got All his right. monocolored electric so blue. For attack, since I'm using since I'm using this short sword, and it's it says that five. rogues are proficient with short swords, is it? But am I using dexterity or strength? Yeah, uh, dexterity. It's plus five on your uh on your to plus hit. Five. Okay, so dexterity says sixteen plus three, and then do I add the plus five, or how would I do it? Oh, did you roll it? Uh, roll to hit. Roll a d twenty plus five. Okay. And you get to roll twice. Come on. Wait, does he get to roll twice? He's he's five feet from me, right? Oh okay. yeah, he gets advantage. I thought you meant attack twice. Oh <sighs> twelve. Uh, you don't have to roll advantage. That hits. Uh, well, you can for the twenty. Go ahead. Go ahead and try. I roll again. That twenty. Yep. Roll again. Okay. Plus. Come on, baby. Yes. Uh, no, all right. 19. So nineteen. All right. Uh, you just see Strudel Kitty get hit in the foot with an arrow. Ah! <laughs> Wait, why? And still, and still, like screaming, uh, goes over and he chops this cobalt right in half. And... This is for my brother, even though I hate how he's named. <laughs> for uh, Strudel Kitty four four two eight. For Strudel Kitty four four two eight. <laughs> He slices the cobalt in half, and one cobalt drops to the floor. Jang just kind of looks confused at what he's shouting. I point back to Jen with my to Jang with my sword. Oh, hell yeah! <laughs> the now red, monocolored. <laughs> oh, no, it's still it's still gleaming blue. It's Jeng. gleaming blue. Jang blushes, and now it's Hideki's turn. All right, so they are the other two cobots down, or are they still up? They're still uh, up there above above you guys. I guess to try to avoid them, Hideki's gonna use Misty Step. Okay. All right, and you, I guess you can go right by where Gavelda is behind everybody. That's awesome. Front of shit. No, in front Wait, of shit. Okay. I have a question. So, like, uh, a misty step. Okay. Your question. Go. Is it is it a cobalt or a cobold or <sighs> cobalt? Uh, like the what? lizard one. <laughs> I can I can the cobold cobold. I thought it was gonna be like an important question for combat. Well, you. I'm researching their stats and what up, what not. Oh, I I home, like I homebrew the fuck out of these things, Slim. So I wouldn't even do it. I don't. I don't. Okay, well, stats, I meant like. I, I meant like. What they look like. I'll show you, goat. I'll show you. It's okay. Uh, you can. You cannot. You can. You can't just yet. Uh, single. Because you were by the barrel, so you don't get a straight view out the door. Um. Anyway, back to the. I guess I'll turn back and uh, try to attack the um, the cobalt that Strudel attacked using Eldritch Blast. Oh Wait, no, that one's dead. dead. That one's dead. No, I, 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 don't shoot at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh then, uh, shoot, I don't at, know. shoot at the ones blocking the entrance. Yeah, yeah, that's what I meant. I thought he attacked the one blocking the entrance. My bad. Okay, okay. All right, uh, roll to hit for me. <laughs> Oh wait. It's one D twenty, right? Yeah, yeah. I think I think you got a, a bigger one than that. I think it's like plus five or six to hit. All 
Oh, you got roll it. Uh, <laughs> oil. What? <laughs> hey, what's up, 16. demon? I didn't see when you put that in the chat, but I see you now. Oh, sixteen. Was yeah, you hit. You hit him. Uh, you hit one of them. Uh, roll that damage. Ten. Okay. All right. You guys uh, see Hideki charge up his Eldritch Blast, shoot it out of his hand, and he flings one of these kobolds right off the ship. Like one of the archers just fly off the ship. Does he have a devil fruit? <laughs> Get the hell off this! Get out! Get out! <laughs> no, you. And with that done, it's your turn, Slim. You, know, you think about ex you think about excellence. Says that you know, complimenting you, Decky. Excellent. Okay. Um, are they kobolds wearing clothes? Um, th they look like they're just wearing like a loincloth. Okay. Um. Can I move to a position where I can see them and shoot my bow? Let me shoot my arrow. Uh, yeah, my and you'd have to still be inside that room, but you can you can see one of them if you s step to the the uh, center aisle and try to try to shoot. Okay, I'll do that. All right, roll the hit for me. <sighs> Wow. Ten. Nope. You just barely miss as it goes between the uh, kobold's legs. Cut. He looks down and he kind of shakes a little bit. <laughs> that was a close one. <laughs> and now it is uh, Baloney's turn. Unless you have anything else you want to do, Slim. I think it's a bonus action. Uh... Wait, what was my... Um... Never mind, just go. Okay, okay. Baloney, your turn. Baloney just is not big on combat, so he just goes and starts eating a banana and pockets the banana peel. Oh. No, Baloney, you better save me a piece of that! <laughs> okay. Add one banana peel to your inventory. I don't know how you're going to use this. <laughs> go ahead. Oh, God. Then uh, now it would be Mimi's turn. Okay. Um, I don't how know many kobolds are there on the deck? Um, you guys took out two, so there's five on the deck, and then one still above you. Okay. So, and I assume that Mimi saw. Um, yeah, Jane Strudel, hit and Strudel Strudel hit. getting shot. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So instead of using his shield normally, he puts it, puts it on his. Like back. Okay. Like, um. Uh. Then he grabs his paddle, with both of ha both hands, goes into rage. You see his afro turn white, and then he recklessly afro? attacks one of the kobolds. Wait, Mimi has an afro. Uh. Yep. Okay. So. Um. Mimi's bald. You, right? No, no, Mimi's not bald. He's got an afro. Uh, Mimi runs out, and he's going to take a shot from one. Oh, God. Okay. Even with the shield, a 20 is going to hit you, but you are raging. Oh, well. Yes. You take one point of damage as an arrow just nicks your shoulder. Uh, and... Also, I have resistance to all damage. Oh, I guess, oh, did you... Yeah, that's half. That's half already. Oh, okay. Can we just mention how he's gone from, like, this normal barbarian to a, like, green-skinned, white-haired mohawk? I uh, mean... Barbarian with a to... green vine dress. <laughs> yeah, he's... The characters have to notice that, but okay. Right, busy kind of fighting right now. Yeah, the, uh, okay, so you uh, run out the closest one with the paddle. Uh, Roll a hit for me, uh, Mimi. Am I five feet from any of them? Yeah, you are. 
Oh, he's going to get advantage is it on advan this attack. Is it? Yep. Okay, it's advantage. Twenty-one. Okay. All right, roll that damage. He got a twenty-one to hit. <laughs> Five. Eight. Oh, okay. So, Mimi, you see your, uh, you see Mimi run out that arrow nicking his shoulder, but he doesn't even notice. And he runs up the next closest cobalt to you, Jang, gets walloped, uh, like mallet style, with a paddle. And uh, you know how, like, accordions, like, shrink down? That's kind of what the cobalt does for a split second and then springs back up. He's dizzy, but he's still standing. That's number two takes eight points of damage, and now it is the cobalt's turn. All right, the one in the back's going first. He's going to take another shot at Mimi. Oh, when he's hitting. And he's only hitting for two damage. That's half that's half down the two. I got it, it was four half down the two. Um, okay. So you take two more points of damage as another arrow just nicks you on the ear. And um the cobalt you just hit is gonna try to hit you. Does a sixteen hit with your shield on? Uh, no, not with my shield on. Okay. Uh, no, my AC, a AC is 16, so... Oh, with the shield on? Okay, then it, it barely hits. And he's coming yeah, at yeah. you with a dagger. And he's gonna do uh, one point of damage uh, to you. <laughs> they are not able to hurt this dwarf very much. And uh, they're getting mostly vines instead of him as he's, like, swinging. Uh, number three is going to attack um, Hideki behind them, and he's, I think, going to hit. Does a 17 hit you, uh, Hideki? Let's see. I think it does. I think you have uh, where you can have mage armor on all the time now with your warlock. Not, not if I have the leather on. I don't think I ever officially took the leather off. It does hit at 14 AC. Okay, okay. Alright, you get hit then, and you're getting hit for five points of damage as this uh, kobold slashes you with a dagger. And that'll be his... Uh... Turn. Turn. Uh, the n next one is going to attack uh, Jang. And I'm guessing the 12 does not hit you, Jang. Barely doesn't. Barely doesn't. Yep. You see uh, this cobalt come and swing its dagger, but it hits, or it hits uh, Jang's uh, new great axe. And she's not very Jang, uh, like, Jang does the, like, eyes... Like looking at her, like face and mouth, <laughs> your necks. Oh, okay. This kobold has been threatened, and then another one seeing he, uh, his buddy missed. He's going to take a shot at you, and he got even lower, so he's not hitting. So you know how you had the axe battle with the big skeleton monster uh, last time. Yeah. And now you have a like axe battle with two kobolds standing on top of each other with daggers. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Uh, you said the cobalt hit me? Yeah, yeah, you got hit for five. Can I use a reaction spell then? Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll go ahead. Uh, Hellish Rebuke. Oh, on the one that hit you? Yeah. Okay, alright, uh, roll that damage. And do I have to make a strength save? No, no, no. You're, you're doing fairly well against these boys. If I beat a giant skeleton monster, I'm pretty sure yeah. I can handle something. Boys, <laughs> the kobolds. Okay. Oh yeah. Okay. So loyal, you just see his eyes turn red, Yavel, and as this kobold just catches on fire and starts swinging his arms around, and he uh, falls off the side of the boat to try to get in the water, and he is out of combat. Hey. Probably dead. Oh. You guys notice he's probably dead. Hey, even better. 
and then we got another one that's going to attack you, uh, Hideki, and a 14, that matches, so that hits, and it's going to attack you with a dagger, and it's going to hit you for another five points of damage. Uh, Gavel, you're just seeing as these little cobalts are coming and swinging at uh, Hideki's legs, and he's you're seeing blood fly. Um, the next is uh, the last one on deck, and he's going to aim for Mimi, and he's not going to hit anything. He's kind of lost in the fight. He's like, what do I do? Who do I go for? There's so many. And uh, we start back with Baldwin. Um uh, Baldwin yeah. kind of looks out a little bit and sees you guys actually uh, taking care of these cobalts, and he's uh, he's pretty ha uh, happy. What uh, do you mean we start with Baldwin's? Like, is my turn skip? What do you mean? He you goes mean? before you. Baldwin's yeah. first on the list. Like, after I shot, is this, like, a, the new turn order? No, the cobalts were after Mimi. So you guys oh. had to wait for eight of them to... <laughs> Use their action. Hey. Or, well. Oh. Because we eight. saw six and there were two on the roof. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, how many are, how many are left? Uh, Baldwin is going to stealth. Uh, there are five left. And he stealths. Let me roll for the, I'm just going to roll for the Cobalts in general. Okay. Match point. Yeah. They see him. He's, he's trying to like hide behind the door, but he's not very being, or he's Dawn not version two. He's doing that chopper thing. Yeah, he's like in the opposite <laughs> way. Oh no, they see me. And uh, now it goes to your turn, single. Uh, can I go into the position to shoot one of them? Yep, you can. You okay. kind of like tell uh, Baldwin to move over, like, hey, you're on the wrong side which, of the door. Which oh. one's the one that I can see? Uh, you can see the one that Mimi Dank hit on the head with a paddle. If you want to take a shot okay. at him. Yeah, I'll take a shot at them. Alright. Uh, roll to hit for me. That's what the well, what Bob said for short bow. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, Twenty-two. Ooh, all right. Yeah, that hits. Uh, roll that damage. I think it's one d six plus your uh, uh, dexterity. Yeah, one one d six plus dex, so that's one d six plus three. Right, oh, Bob is actually really useful for these days. Sneaky's being a little slow. Seven. Okay, yeah. You uh, hit him in the uh, air or in the chest with the arrow, and he falls down, uh, bleeding out. Uh, single. You you've taken out. The, kill kill the third kill cobalt. steals are real. Or the fourth cobalt, actually. Can you say that out loud? Yeah, there's four <laughs> left. Um, it is now your turn, Lord. You're invisible. Uh, I don't care which one. Can I just sneak up behind one of them and stab them in the back of the neck? Um, I'll say like, roll a stealth with advantage for me. Roll twice. Uh, okay. Go ahead and go you're, ahead and I'd say you want to sneak up behind the one upstairs that's attacking your buddies, right, with the bow, since you're invisible? Yeah. Sure. That'd be 1d20, right? Yeah, yeah, 1d20 plus your dex. 18, okay. Or plus your stealth, sorry. Your stealth modifier. Got 18. Oh yeah, he doesn't notice you. You're now behind him. Uh, can I just stab him right through the back of the throat? Uh, okay. Um. Uh, okay. Uh, roll that damage for me. We'll see. We'll see what. We'll see how much you do. Uh, which one it's, is uh, that? One d6 plus your dex with the short sword. Okay. 
<clears throat> oh, good. <laughs> Forgot the roll. Don't worry, yeah, I do that shit all the time, dude. Seven. All right, seven. All right, seven. Yeah. I'm just going to say that's that's doubled because of uh, him not knowing anything or you, uh, him not uh, knowing you're there. You get a clear shot on him. Um, you, you guys uh, on the deck see as this cobalt starts bleeding through the neck and starts getting lifted up like, like he's levitating and uh, flung off the ship as uh, Lorcrin appears. Uh, cleaning off his blade with uh, his cloak. Understandable. <laughs> now it's his, uh, Jang's turn. And that bad boy is right. gone. Uh, so I'm in the middle of a clash with, like... Yeah, you got two cobalts on you. Like, in front of you. <laughs> okay, can I make a... Uh, act a athletics check to uh, knock them on their asses. Uh, yeah, you can. That'll be an action, though, if you if you do that. Will I still be able to attack them? No, no, not if you if you do the athletics. It would knock both of them prone, though. So that well, you already give your people advantage. So that's that's I just attack one. All right. Mm. Okay. Yeah, that hits. And I, and I get it. Uh, I'm getting trapped in 20. So, oh, damn so it. close. Damn yeah, it. 24 hits, definitely. Throw that great axe damage. Sixteen. Oh, okay, Dang. yeah. You cleave the one on top right in half horizontally. And his buddy just sees like he's only got legs. Uh, now, uh, on top of him, as blood like starts pouring Wait, down on him. Was that the one who barely missed me? Huh? Yeah, uh, no, the one at the bottom is the one that barely missed you. But I cleaved the one on the bottom. In. Oh, okay. I said all right, all right. Yeah. I'll say, I'll say that. Okay, that's cool. Um, all right, no, but one. that would like that would be like more uh, pain to him. Like he'd fear more, and because he's next in your uh, victim list. Well, he, he can attack the one he wants. Uh, so, yeah, I did. Right, like so, most. his legs get cleaved off, and uh, the top one notices that he's just standing on a torso now, and his buddy's like dead under him. And he looks up at you, and now it is Gavelt's turn again. I mean, um. There's two kobolds left on deck one uh, uh, by Hideki, and one by uh, Jang. Okay. You know, you see about just see like this fire form around his hands. He tosses a firebolt towards that thing. Okay. Uh, roll to hit, or is it a dexterity on their part? Which one though? Um, the one by Hideki. Let's see. Uh, you hurl a modifier at a creature or object in range. Make a range spell attack against target. Okay. On a hit. Yeah, roll hit. Okay, so for one d twenty. I think it's plus your intelligence plus your proficiency, or I think so. Plus what now? I think it's plus your intelligence and plus proficiency to like hit it. Like 1d20 plus 6, I think. You mean spell attack modifier, right? Um, so the intelligence mod at the intelligence modifier? Yeah. yeah. Or 1d20 plus 4, and what else? Uh, plus, it's just plus 6, plus your proficiency, too. 1d20 plus 4, plus 6. <laughs> No, no, plus six. Just what? plus six. Okay. Um, this, okay, so... That would have been an one, eight. One. So eight would not have hit him. Okay. You gotta see a... Anyway. Give out charge up a fireball, and it just barely misses as this cobalt raises up with his, like, 
uh, you see some little like feathers on his head. They're kind of singed. And he kind of like fills up there to put it out. It is now uh, Strudel Kitty's turn. All right, all right, all right. So there's there's three kobolds left, right? Three, two, two left. Two. Okay, by, I would like one to one by Jang and you, and then one by uh, Hideki. Are they close to each other or far? Far, far. Ah, oh, dang it! Like, all right, you couldn't so hit them with the breath. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's what I was you trying to do. You hit one with it. You still uh, get the attack. I'll use the sword just because it's more effective. I wanted to use the breath to kind of change it up, but. Since I'm just attacking one, I whip out my... Well, my sword's already whipped out. I put my sword up into the sky. You see it gleam, okay. flicker. Electric view, beautiful. And I go to attack the kobold. All right, next roll to me and hit. Jang. And then it's my... Dexterity modifier. Oh, yeah, it's just the plus five. Okay. Yeah, plus five. Oh yeah, yes. you hit him. Roll that damage. It's one d six plus your dex. What's dex? Uh, I think it's plus three for you. Strudel Kitty. Let me see. Oh, dexterity. Yeah, it's plus three. Sorry. Oh, you're. Fine. I didn't. I didn't compute that dex was dexterity. <laughs> Eight damage. Oh, okay. <coughs> All right, uh, yeah, Strudel Kitty, he's pumped. He's like, I now find a new love for killing things. As he looks over at the cobalt <laughs> left, sitting on his friend's torso, and uh, Strudel Kitty uh, goes to slash at him uh, for four six one nine. <laughs> and as the sword comes down, the cobalt tries to block, and you cleave his uh, arm off that he tried to block with. At this point, Jang is just full on blushing, and she does a little cat call whistle. Oh. <laughs> Actually, with that hit, roll charisma, Strudel Kitty. <laughs> to, see, to see how well you did slice off that kobold's arm. So plus two modifier. 1d20 plus two, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Never mind. Why did I even do this? <laughs> He rolls a four. Yeah, he's covered in blood, Jang. He's like shaking, like. Ah. I'm, I'm an orc, you realize? I yeah. like that. Yeah. I think I look so cool and knightly. Well, only Jang heroic. Is <laughs> and, now it's, it's, and then you realize just this fat, like dragonborn, it's like going through this start. <laughs> so it's armless. Okay. Yeah. Well, it, well, it's got one arm still. It lost its weapon, though. Oh, yeah, it's got one arm. No weapon. Let's torture it. Let's leave it alive. Uh, can we Can we talk to them? them? Yeah. We can? Yeah. Let's leave one they alive and, like, talk to it and get some info, some deets. Let's slap some... it with its arm. Yes! Slum I Slum collect deets. the arm. I find the arm on the floor and I collect it. It's I would say that's a bonus action. Yes, you can do that. <coughs> oh, is it my turn? Yeah, it's your turn. Mm, okay. What you roll? Yeah, there's two left. One still in front of you, and then one in front of uh, Strudel Kitty. That's uh, the armless one. There's an armless one. I'm going to uh, summon my magical weapon. Okay. It's a uh, dagger. Uh -oh. I'm going to attack the cobalt in front of me. Okay. All right. Roll to hit. I get proficiency in it too. Mm -hmm. so. Eleven. That just barely misses Hideki. I'm pissed. Um, yeah, you see him do the same, like, dodge as when Gavelt threw a fireball at him. He's like, man, I'm getting good at this. But there are increasingly uh, amounts of people versus kobolds in, on the ship right now. 
and now it is Slim's turn. I would like to shoot at the one in front of Hideki. Okay. Take the pop shot. I swear to God. 15? Yeah, that hits. Roll those, uh, damage. Roll that damage. Oh, yeah. The slim uh, tissue just uh, steadies her aim. She is not going to miss this time. Let's loose the bow, or let's loose the arrow. And uh, it goes right through this thing's skull, Hideki, as you see it fall on the ground. And now it is, uh, it is Baloney's turn. And it thought, uh, it was getting good at dodging. <laughs> but Potatoes Discord crashed, so... We have to it's hang on. It's gonna take her a while. We have to hang on to something. I don't know what she just said to hang on. Uh, okay, okay. Am I back? Yeah, you're back. Use the peel! Commence the torture. <laughs> Do Whip out that Discord banana peel and just again? slap him with it. Potato? Jesus. Oh, she might be gone again. Can we keep it moving? Yeah, we yeah we can. Uh, I'll say uh, uh, she eats another banana. Pockets another banana pill. <laughs> so she has two <laughs> banana pills. And we go to Mimi last on the list for you guys. Okay, so there's only one, yeah, left, one left, right? And attack that one on the on the up. I'm, I'm sorry, what? I said attack it with his arm. We need to keep it alive. You want to keep this one alive? Yes, um, capture it so we can ask it questions and torture it with its own appendage. Let's kill it. Well, I'm not, well, I'm not, I'm not going to hit it with its arm. I'm going to go up there and bonk it to its head with my paddle. Okay, so let me get this straight. Are you using subdue damage? Yes. Okay. Uh, go ahead and uh, roll the hit. Love a good bomb. Once again, am I back? Yeah, you're, yes. you're yes. back. I don't know. Hello, back. And the well, connection on my laptop isn't any better. You, I'm upset. You do not hit, uh, Mimi. You have, you have advantage. You're attacking the one oh, next yeah, to me, right? Yeah, he's got advantage. He's got advantage. Roll again. Wait, I thought there was only one left. No, he, uh, he's got advantage. Yeah, there's only one left. It's the one next to Jang. Yeah, the sorry. Twelve. Oh yeah, you barely hit it. Roll it's damage. Kill it, bang. He's very weak. Six. Six damage. Yeah, you knock it minimum, out. He minimum, falls. Minimum. He falls to the ground. <laughs> uh, knocked out. And uh, <coughs> if no, like I guess that's uh, combat's over now. Uh, I think who? Uh, it was Mimi that released Baldwin, so it's, it's Baldwin's uh, turn. Um, he's, he's, yep. he's gonna come out from the... Thank hey, you, who, thank you so much. Who the door? Thank you so much. Wait, what? Never mind. What? My friends, all of them, I don't see any. They must have all been killed by these things. Well, it looked like there was a party back in the room you were in. Maybe they just got really wasted and went back to their hotel rooms. That was my blood on the table. Mmm. Uh, Mr. Uh, what was your name? 
Uh, Strudel Kitty four four two seven. Mister four four two seven. Thank you. You're welcome, Mister four six one nine. He kind of like looks confused and is like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, he searches on the cobalt. The, and uh, he finds. Okay. Let me uh, put this up on the stream for you guys. This little uh, thing right here. It's another one of those stone uh, little like carvings with a little color on it. And let me find. These are beautiful. Thank you. I tried my best. <laughs> so you guys have these three little things. We have three. Mm hmm. Oh, thank you. Ahead. They did not get these. What did we get? Uh, what are these? Uh, like, uh, Peter King is asking him. Oh, uh, Baloney might be out because of connection issues, guys, just so y'all know. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Um, when, did, when did we get a. I know we just got a third one, but when did we get the one in the middle? Um, he picked the he picked both of those up off of the cobalt that uh, got knocked out. Oh, okay. uh, we're gonna take a break though, hey. so you guys can use the bathroom and stuff. I'm actually gonna go use the bathroom. Uh, real Perfect. Quick. Oh, I actually have to go. Okay, that's cool, Strudel. Uh, thanks yeah. for playing. I'm sorry, man. I gotta wake up early tomorrow, and I'm sick. Oh, you're good. I'm, I'm no. glad you got to play a little bit with us. It's all you go. I'm glad too. Can I Here, take um, um Yes, yeah. I was about to say a single the arm is all yours, my man. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> you all gave all me. This yours. dude has a cobalt arm. <laughs> oh, can I go uh, retrieve my arrows? Uh yeah. Uh, I'd say you right. you're going to lose the one that went straight <coughs> through the the head of the uh, boy though. Had fun guys. Good night. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Later. Later slubs. You guys check out his YouTube channel. He's going to be making new content here sometime. Every day. Every day. Every day a new Pokemon uh, video will be uploaded. Better than Techie. Wait, like, anyway. as, as in, like, better or more cringy? Better. More cringy. Oh, <laughs> okay. Well, what's, you... the, what's, the, what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> the plug for Schlub's channel got re really sour there. Oh no. Okay, but uh, we're, we're gonna go on break for a little bit, guys. Uh, you guys watching, thanks for stopping by. Uh, I appreciate it. And if you want to stay, we're gonna continue on here in about ten minutes. So ten minute break, everybody. Uh, hopefully, uh, Baloney can get her um, connection. Uh, a little bit better by then too, so it might work out for all of us. Uh, and we're gonna we're gonna see uh, where you guys are going when we get back, and you guys interact with Baldwin. Interesting. I thought we were on break. No, we are. I was we just are. I was just like saying that for the people watching on the chat. Okay. Pretty entertaining session so far. I have a headache, but pretty entertaining. Yeah, I got two, I got two kills under my belt, boys. Get on that level. You did pretty good. You did pretty good. You at least got Eldritch Spell off. All the belt did was miss. You must. You still have Mage Armor on, don't you? No, I need to take off my leather. I forgot to do that. Uh, okay. So I'm like, I, my mage armor is still active for like forever later. My mage armor is probably going to be active for like one and a half session long, depending on how two kids hours. And I have a wine dress. <laughs> you are mute. Okay. Mimi is a mute. Mimi is a mutant. Duval's probably going to address that later because of other things. 
just to piece together at the moment. So you are. I, I'm what? You are a mutant. You are a Mewtwo. Oh, damn. How does that make you feel? He is slowly turning into a plant. You have no, no. idea. How... I mean, I don't know how a deck you feels about, you know, the green, like, I think it was, you guys got the update on, like, what does everybody look like so far? Or what did you, what do, who, who drunk the shit? You licked the crap. Uh, Mimi, Mimi licked the crap out before. Nugget, did it Nugget drink something or eat something? Yep. I have brassy hair with flowers in it. Let me see. Did uh, Strudel Kitty drink any? No. Okay. So there's only two people who drank something. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So Sam, Sam, did you actually like drink it or just like taste it? I straight up opened the bottle and drank the whole thing. Oh, okay. So same as well. Finally I mean, back. Not the same as me. Yeah, you're back. back. We're on break right now, so. I got the gist of that, yeah. The gist? Just whatever. Fuck off. As soon as the kobold wakes up, we get to start the torturing. It's one of those words that I've only ever read, but I don't hear people actually use, so. The gist? People do use the gist. I did, yes, but I don't really hear other people use it. And then, in my head, it's gift instead of gist, probably for the same reason I say gif instead of gif. Who is the strongest person in the party with, like, strength? Jen. Frank. I think it's Jen. 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 Alright, I'm oh, back. No. It, just, it would just be funny if I gave you the severed limb and you actually killed him with it. I mean, technically, if you did allow Jane to torture that thing, it would die. Um, but I digress. I'm not. Would Jang would, would never torture a human soul or a kobold soul or any soul. Would would there be damage no, done to the hand? Yes, there would. Okay, so what did I miss while my internet was being stupid? Nothing. We just nothing. We just took out like the last kobold and like yeah, nothing really that interesting. Oh, add yeah, another yeah, banana just... pill to your inventory. I kind of did your round for you. <laughs> The baloney. I didn't know what to do. Hey. I was like, she adds another, or he adds another banana pill to his inventory. I am okay with that. <laughs> I'm scared. What hey, two can. Yes. I didn't get a chance to, but can I like search through the uh, like? Is there anything there I would want, like a shield or anything? I have returned. On on the ship. Uh, no, like on the battle. Oh, 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 can I, uh, am I able to pick up the bow from the fucking one dude I killed that was shooting the arrows and shit? Oh, we're on break. Yeah, we're on break right now. Oh, yeah, I know, I right. was asking that as a question. Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. What about me? What uh, about you? They didn't have any shields. You could have oh. seen that. They just had, like, daggers and, uh, a bow and arrow. Can I grab a dagger for my offhand? I thought I thought the great axe was a two-handed weapon. But like in case I'm using like my short sword, I can use a dagger yeah. as well. Yeah, that's. Can right. I think? Can I, mean, I you think can take a yeah. Can I pick up the arrows from the kobold? Uh, one got blasted off with his, and the rest I was gonna say, uh, Elorcrin would take with him. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's Is probably that... good that I missed my turn. Well, what were you going to do? I was going to make Baloney Crisis start playing We Are on the bagpipes. Oh, no. <laughs> we are, we are on the cruise. Can Baloney heal me when she gets back? Potato. I'm sorry, what? Can you heal me when you get back in session? Um, I think you're metagaming right now. <laughs> no, he's not. He's just asking for some help. He, he, Decky's uh, crawling around with some blood pouring out of his 
Okay, if, if I do heal him when I get back, can he play We Are on the bagpipes to heal him? Yes. <laughs> but it will be with disadvantage. Oh, no. The only thing that I'm cautious about is that would use a spell slot, and I don't know if any bigger things are going to come before we rest, it's, so... It's okay if you play the pyre crap. Oh my oh, god, it's, it's a cracker. I mean, that's fine. I'm not that damaged, so I guess we can wait. You guys Did you know, say cracker? No, no. Like, yeah, uh, our single nugget did. Okay, so are we back to, are we back live? Are no. we back doing No, I mean, we're live, yeah, but right? we're, we're still on break for three more minutes. Uh, uh, that's what I'm saying. Okay, I want to say Kraken. What, what do you think this is? A level 17 challenge rating campaign right now? Kraken like it. I thought that was a 23 rating, that Kraken. I don't know. It's somewhere, it's somewhere stupid high. Stupid high. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Kraken. Release the Kraken. Arita Kedo, you never Kaki Atsu. We're on break, goddammit. not want to be How's everyone's day going? Oh, damn. Crack. Uh, Mediocre. Damn, okay. we got the two biggest fans in here. Longboard and skate. Oh, uh, those are my boys. <laughs> electrical you? skateboard, electrical longboard. Hey, Cogwizzle, what's coffee. up? Uh, I haven't seen you before. I'm gonna make some coffee. I'm gonna make some coffee. Uh, you should, uh... Steve Taddies should... is back. Steve Taddies? Isn't it? I thought it was DTA days. Yeah, me it too. It might be that. DTA, DTA days. days. DTA days. DTA days. DTA days. DTA days. You know what? what? I'm sorry for butchering your name if I did, or I apologize for them butchering your name if they did. That way we're safe. Or we all might be wrong. <laughs> Today is a way no, but we offer is our apologies. Is... Yeah. Today is... But, no, but who is this by, le by lemon 12? Oh yeah, no, that's oh. that's uh, that's actually blue lemon twelve. Okay. All right. Oh, hello everybody. Hello, hello oh, audience. Welcome man. to the stream. <laughs> hello audience. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, okay. we're we're about to get started again here in a minute. We won't be going Wait, for too why much longer though. Why isn't it lemon twelve? It is lemon twelve. Wow. That was I thought it was Blast Monster. I'm trying okay. to, I'm trying to uh, mod Frast real quick, <laughs> but my thing's being dumb. Big, big lizard, big lizard lemon. Big lizard man? Hideki? Yeah, big, big lizard man. Are you okay with that? Um, but Hideki is the devil. Hideki's right. devil though. Modded my boy Frast. Welcome to the mod squad on Twitch. Why, though? Hey. Okay, uh, Slubs, Twitch... uh, you're getting banned. I'm afraid you're gonna have to get banned, Slubs. <laughs> the Twitch one. <laughs> Slubs ain't even in here, though. He's just You've watching. Been here. He's just watching. He's not All right. I'm He's not causing any trouble. I'm ready to keep, going. I'm ready to keep going, my bro. Yeah. We've got, right we got like an hour, hour left. Yeah. Right? We got like an hour left. Wants to know how much longer. I yeah. wanna, yeah. I'm yeah. planning for a little less than an hour. Uh, DT. Okay. Is that really? D uh, I try to, I try to do it from 9 p.m. to 12 a.m. Eastern. Uh, just because that's the like time that would work for us to play. Any longer than that, I, you know, I think it'd be uh, kind of hard. All right, uh, we're gonna uh, get back to business. You got a kobold on the floor uh, bleeding out, uh, and then you you see Baldwin pick up these three little symbols. And we'll start with Simo. It's you're up first on the on the turn order. If you want to do anything. Sam. I'm sorry. Who? Me? No, Sam. Sam. Oh, Sam. Uh, my freaking pugs over here. Come here, girl. I suppose we ask if we're going to interrogate the. Okay, so the you. Kobold. All right. You ask the party about interrogating the cobalt. 
tracks. You, you hear good bell in the distance. If you plan to do that, I recommend first learning the layout of this entire ship and taking him to a secure room. That'd be what's best for you all to get your entertainment. Everyone go except for you, Mimi. I want you to come with me. Come over here real quick. Um, I, I'm agreeing I'm with okay. Belt. Okay. Can I pick up the bow and arrow and shit before I go? Yeah, I, I was going to say you do that on your turn. Wow. Like, yeah, you, you're going to do that. I agree with Gavilt on this one. We should check out the kit and see if there's anything else here. Mm -hmm. uh, Baldwin, like, mentions to you guys that he does uh, not uh, want to, like, torture the Cobalt or anything. He'd rather just either finish it off quick or um, patch up its bandages and sit him off uh, a cell. He's a blue cobalt, so yeah, he's a good swimmer. We should knock Baldwin out. <laughs> yeah, can I pickpocket the gold Baldwin has? Uh, Strudel, aren't, aren't you a dragonborn as well? Do you not have any pride as a dragonborn? Oh, Strudel's not here. So Strudel. Like here, he left. But, you know. Oh, was that go talking? That was gloomy. Oh. Yeah, that's a lock. Right, you hear Gavel? By the way, if you do decide to tie him up, I hope one of you have a very. Uh, well, I hope one of you at least have a lexicon that is refined and draconic. They speak draconic. I yell back. That's all right. I have. Uh... The language spell thing where I can understand them. Excellent. You speak about excellent. Uh, yeah, Baldwin also oh. says, like, I uh, speak uh, draconic. Uh, do we have to keep him, though? Uh... That's, up to, that's, up to the, that's up to them. Right now, I kind of want to. He points at a scar. These man. things are very dangerous, and I would, like you, like I said earlier, like to. Dispose of him in a quick and humane fashion, or... Just push him into the water. He'll bleed out bandages. there. Hmm. I say we just let him bleed out in the water. Why don't we just finish him, then? Yeah, that's a humane way. Just kill him! You all wanted to torture him. Maybe we can bribe we him with bananas. We don't... We don't have to torture him, we can question him first. If he doesn't want to answer, we can end him quickly. Okay. I mean, I like the, dwarf. the blue cobalt like looking at you like wide-eyed in horror as you guys talk about what you want to do with his life. Uh, Did he knocked out? Guys, yeah, he's knocked out. I want you guys to roll a uh, medicine check for whoever wants to try to uh, fix up his bandage, or fix up where his arm got cut off. I hope someone crit fails. In the meantime, uh, uh the since meantime, it's me... my turn, should I be the one that does it? Uh, yeah. yeah. Or is, is Lord Kring gonna do it? I'll, I'll try it. This, this seems like something as well. Do. Okay, so, um. So, S Sam, would you like to. Yeah. Uh, Jang's not doing too hot on the the putting people back together. She's good at like putting or tearing people apart, not putting people back together. Uh, Lorcan comes over and he's doing better jobs. He's got experience at bandaging uh, himself, so he does it. And then Slim Slim helps to make it tight. Uh, you guys uh, made sure this dude didn't have to roll any death rolls. He is just unconscious. Okay, then, since they did that, is it possible to sort of do that evil thing that I wanted to do, but not actually hurt him, just wake him up? You know, oh, you want to, okay, so you want to wake him up with, uh, with his hand? With his own arm. Should we, should we yeah. have him tied first? Hey, you guys haven't tied him yet. Uh, you hear him on the distance. Before we wake him up. Left, 
If uh, I slap him in the face to wake him up, who wants to tie him up? Uh, Bob, Which, like, check, him. check his body for, like, anything before we, like, tie him up. Oh, Bobwin already did that. That's where he found the three, uh... You hear Cabell in a distance. You hear Cabell in a distance. Put the thing in a secure area. I kind of don't want things to get out of hand in this situation. We don't know where we are. Please, please. That, yeah, that's we're doing that already. Yes, please. Uh, he looks at you single. I don't think he'll wake up until he's uh, had a bit of rest. If you want to interrogate him. To see what they were after. But I already kind of have an idea of what they were after. As he shows you the three things again. The uh, three little stone pieces. Uh, one shaped in a circle. One's shaped in a square, and one is shaped in a triangle. What exactly are those things that they want anyway? These are a piece to a temple that I'm selling to. I'm trying to uh, refurbish uh, the temple. Uh, things in my home have gone downhill since uh, creatures have started uh, stomping on the uh, temple. Oh, something's happening. Uh, sorry, uh, creatures have invaded the temple and the surrounding area and things have gone sour for my homeland. So I'm trying to uh, refurbish the temple and uh, hopefully things will get better back home. I would appreciate help if you would help me. I, I have no idea how you guys got here, though. What would our reward be to help you? I would gladly pay uh, gold. If you have the, if you guys want gold, I know some people venture more in trade, but I myself do not have a lot to offer uh, for trade. I'm more uh, suited financially than uh, with items. I do have this boat, though I would gladly give you the boat after our uh, adventure too, if you would like the boat. Where are we sailing? We are. Yeah. The temple is located on the island of New Breath, and I'm going to bring that up on the stream and in the chat for you guys. Mm. If I can find it. Yeah, look, you see, you see a deck, you're not a nice deck. You see Gavelt just, you know, just just while looking at uh, Baldwin, he just looks at, uh, he's just observing Mimi, since Mimi's standing right next to him. Uh, he, uh, he shows you guys uh, the piece of the map that he tore off. Uh, oh, by the way, um, so I have one of those things in my pouch, right? The circular one? Yes. Okay, yeah, and, um, did, 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 yeah, did I see, um, Baldwin show that other two? Yeah, you, you seen him show the other two. Uh, two. Many, okay, uh... so I would, I would, I would like to take the third one out of my pouch and give that to Baldwin. Oh, 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 the, you, you found this? This was, I hid this away, so at least they would not claim everything. Thank you. Yes. No worries. On this map, it's marked uh, from my studies. Uh, there are three other pieces that go with these that uh, belong to the temple that the monsters have carried off and played with. Uh, I would like to return them back to the temple, and he shows you the dot on there to the left on that little island is the temple of new birth. It may get dangerous, though, if you guys do decide to help me. Does Gabel still have his map as sounds well? Good. Sounds great. Uh, you have the rest of the surrounding area map, yeah. Mm. You see him, like... <clears throat> Put his hand in the front part of his uh front part of his robe. Pull that map out. Does this map relate to this map? Does this map relate to that? Yes, map? yes, they, they go together. I tore yeah. this part out so the kobolds would not have it. Mm. And I tried to hide. Put them together. So is there a picture? You have a picture of them both together? No, no, you I, can show I do us? not uh, right now. Okay, okay. All right. I see. This will be useful later. In the meantime, whose turn is it on the turning thing? For uh, make uh, well, since we're out of combat, I say we start over. It'd be Mimi Danks. 
since he gave him the thing, I guess that would count as one. Lork is picking up arrows and uh, the bow. Uh, right. Uh, how many arrows do I get, by the uh, way? You, the you get five uh, okay. with a short bow added to your inventory. Okay. Uh, single nugget. Uh, I guess it would be hit. I w guess it would be on single nugget. So you guys found out you could get paid in gold or you could get paid in this boat uh, if you help um, Baldwin uh, refurbish this temple by returning the artifacts to the temple. Where would we use the gold? Do you ask Baldwin? Mm-hmm. You buy things with it? This is uh, the form of currency uh, here, uh, young lady. Uh, I do Let's not know your name. Sure. Jang. Nice to meet you, Jang. You see, uh, Gavel, thinking, I'm sure a certain chicken hawk would be interested in gold. Uh, you know, he said that out loud. Uh, and if Jang was, if Jang's probably thinking, you know, he's yeah. referencing Mr. Box. Uh, the Baldwin ch uh, scratches his head. A uh, chicken hawk. No, don't worry about it. It's an associate we'll probably have to deal with later. Oh, I see. I see. Did Mr. Bucks really want the uh, gold bow? I'm he sure the chicken told hawk. You <laughs> anything, but Don did say that uh, he does request things in memory sometimes. So if you guys brought him something, he might he might like it. What if we brought him a boat? See, uh, <laughs> Gavel. You see, Gavel just slowly just turn and look at look at Kitty. Do you have the power to transfer this entire vessel across material plane? Anything's possible if you put your mind to it. All right, fairy tale, calm down. <laughs> I'm just playing. <laughs> You know, at this point, Single's just going to drop the arm because, you know, he likes to be evil, but he doesn't really want to hold a bleeding arm for ages. <laughs> okay, so you, you ditch the arm. I am curious, however. <clears throat> see, you know, like, look, you see him look at the sky? How's it look? Or, like, how's the wind and everything? Uh, pretty good. Like, you guys are still selling uh, uh, pretty strong. Uh, the hoe's been patched up, and you guys are doing good. Uh, Baldwin's actually no pretty a, surprised. No sign of a storm or anything like that? Uh-uh. This, 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 no, it's this clear. You can see the sun? Yep. See the sun and everything? Yep, clear skies. Yeah. So it's just a slight breeze? Mm-hmm. Nothing to make a belt hair go everywhere? Okay. Uh, I guess Jang says to the party she would prefer the boat because of all that water near the... Um, Near the cabin and near the main main area. It's not that much water. <laughs> the about that it is not that much water. You mean the ocean next to the forest? There's not that much water in the ocean. Okay, I thought you were talking about the moat. You make a point, but even if we had that kind of boat, where would it? Sit? Never mind. I'm curious. I like that idea. We'll keep that in mind if we find a way to transport a large vessel across memory. That's the main problem. Hmm. Speaking of which, Baldwin. Yes, yes. Do you know anybody by the name of Eventide? He, uh, shakes his head a little bit. I'm sorry, I... I'm not for sure. There is a... I have heard that phrase before, and it's, uh, regarded, uh, I think in, uh, light of a champion, so, so a great warrior. Hmm. I don't know much about him, though. Interesting. So, you're not the owner of this boat, are you? The Never mind. I rephrase, you're the captain of this boat, so you technically own this boat. Yes, yes, I own this boat. Let's see. I guess I'm to just get to the point. Uh, see, uh, Gavel, look at Mimi. 
What do you look like right now? Uh, he, Mimi is still light green with, uh, he's not, he's no longer has white hair. He's, his hair's back to green and he still has that dress of vines. And you look over and see single still with the beard of flowers. And, uh, kind of like a uh, hair of, uh, with flowers in it too. Speak about single. Come here. Uh, is, is the single, the single approach. Okay, you see, Gabo is R four. Just looking at these. <laughs> you see him trying not to laugh, but at the same time, just just eyes sort of twitching. What the hell is going on here? <laughs> looking at both of them. <laughs> uh, Baldwin sees this. He's gonna make another roll. Okay, that one's much better. You got into the cargo bay, didn't you? And drank one of the bottles as he like scratches his chin. Uh, at you, single, and then looks to Mimi. Oh dear. Um, possibly. <laughs> uh, he's he goes into his room. Oh, where are my papers? Uh, he he. Let me see here. He uh, yeah yeah okay. Good he enough. finds some and he starts writing down uh the like what happened when you guys drank from it. Do you, do you okay. feel while weird he's, in while, he, while, while he's doing that, while he's doing that, he's about slowly reach towards the beer of Nugget. Just, can I roll to see if you can take a flower off him, or do I have to? Uh, you can try. <laughs> Let me see. We don't have to roll for that. No, nothing, nothing. You can just, like, uh, as you try to, like, pull the flower, it tucks at your body, uh, single. So it kind of sort of hurts. Yeah, it, like it, 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 it's like you're trying to pull a hair out, but it looks like it's rooted inside of his skin. Oh, and uh, this single, like, yelp in pain or, like, say anything to give out? Uh, it when would hurt pull single. It? I don't know. Like, he might try to slap you with that, uh, that like, hand that's on the ground. <laughs> if you keep pulling. I'm not okay. sure what he'd do. <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, he, he stopped pulling, like. You, you can admire my beard all you want, but. You can't take it. He stops. What the hell? What? What is this? <laughs> what are you back up all this? Uh, I'm not. Gavelt, what are you doing? Are you jealous? I'm not completely sure. No one's ever drank from the fountain before. This <laughs> is uh, water we have kept on my island, um, and we pour it on a tree. Uh. This is from the fountain on the on the island by the temple of birth, and uh, the god the god uh, the goddess's name or she is referred to as mother, and uh, we call her the mother of nature. This is from her the fountain. Mother. So they the did the fertilizer. Can can I do a, a religion check to see if I know this goddess? Uh, like yeah yeah, yeah go ahead. Like, you did one earlier. Yeah, Gavel, uh, yeah, Gavel as well. Okay, yeah, you guys go ahead and roll. Same. Yeah, can I do that as well? Why would all of you I do it? Like, Why would all of you do that? That makes no sense. Because, like... What? Okay. Because I have well, a I mean, plus it, two it, modifier? It, it, it tastes a bit like dirt. He's got plus four. Me and him are plus four and five. So, mm -hmm. there's no point. Oh, is me is... up or... Doesn't look like. Uh, you guys up. might have to use Koya because Mimi's not responding. Mimi? Mimi? Or Mickey. It's Mickey. Mickey. Sorry, sorry. I'm like, like who? Isn't, <laughs> uh, Tats, isn't Tatsumaki? Um, what? Uh, yeah, yeah, but Tatsumaki, Tatsumaki sucks. sucks. Like he's like no, Tatsumaki, Tatsumaki, Tatsumaki sucks. Tatsumaki, yeah, the modifier. Yeah. What? I think what's what's Tatsumaki the command. Uh, Koya can add the modifier. What's the command? No boy. Add Mickey's back on. Actually show. Mickey's back on the. It doesn't show them. Roll it. He is back on man. Roll it. Okay, yeah. Roll it. Oh, not dead. Two, go. Roll it. Um, okay, he's just gone. Nicky is working again. No, I was just seeing if it was up. I wasn't actually rolling. I didn't want to roll. Change one. Who's the religious one now? Bitch. Who's the religious one now? Uh, Gavelt, what you gonna get? 
see, 22. Oh, damn. Well, you're, you're still not religious. Um, you? Uh, oh, single, you got an 18? Okay, uh... Everyone's Slim. doing it? Slim, even though you got a 21, you, you don't really, you don't recognize this name. Same with you, single, with the 18. You don't recognize this name. Um... You you think that it's uh, a older god? Wait, older or yeah. Odor? Like, like uh, older, like <laughs> older, <eight>. older. <laughs> like, what? Gavel digging god. into the library. She smells. Gavel uh, digging into the library of his brain. Gavel, you, <laughs> you actually know because it would have been a prevalent god in your time period. This is uh, this is the. This is mother uh, of nature. You you know this god. Uh, she controls uh, plant life, life of uh, like living beings, death, the death cycle, of living beings, um, the sun, or the you know the star by the planet you live in, and I think the moon, also and water. This god has a very wide range of. Uh, or a very wide uh, range of uh, I'm trying to think of the word, man. Uh, Wants to kill it. Rain. I, 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 no, no, it's it's. Domain. It's, it it's a big god. It's it's a Power? big god. Big, uh, like big big god. God. Did you know that? Did you know the name? Do you got a name? Do you uh, relay uh, this information? Do not know the actual name of the god. Okay, he's thinking about. <laughs> My thesis was, he just said it out loud, my thesis was definitely correct. <laughs> There's definitely more than just even tired at work when it comes to this entire system. But to this degree, to a god this powerful, that concerns me. <laughs> Baloney just asks Baldwin, where did you guys get the bananas? Uh, those are kind of my favorite treats, so I brought them with me. They are grown in my island. You two. You see, you can both just say you two. And whenever we get to this piece of land, don't eat any fruit, don't touch any plants that look suspicious, weird, or beautiful. You understand? Who <laughs> true? Imagine that they're both Mimi me and Nugget. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. Hey, I already have plants. <laughs> As, Same. Uh, me, no, me, I, no, uh, I, I am. I am a suspicious-looking plant. Me, me, like just that. trust. Just trust me. Don't get enchanted by anything else. Just, just trust me. Just, just trust me. While oh, Gavel is telling them not to eat anything, Baloney just starts eating another banana. He says, "Don't eat anything when you get to this piece of land. When they get the land." <laughs> You see Mimi looking at Gavel while he talks, and he he's like his mouth is open, and he's about to fall asleep as Gavel explains all this. Oh no! Can uh can he go sit and take like a nap? Uh yeah yeah. Uh Baldwin tells you you guys have time to rest if you want to. Uh before we reach the island of uh, new birth or new is it, is there? I can't even remember the dang name. New breath. <laughs> New birth Baldwin, is, is there any is there any rum rum on this ship? Uh, n I'm sorry, I don't think that I brought any. Uh, let me see. The kobolds, I think, cleaned me out of almost everything. Uh, we, Disappointing, isn't it? We have a way to boil water to make sure there's like fresh water to drink. Um. Other than that. Could I have some of that then? Yes, I can. I can. Can they? Make some sort of alcohol with jet. I mean, like fruit. Well, I mean, it, w it would need to ferment and stuff, and that takes a lot of time. You think about that yeah, takes Bald a whole lot of time. Baldwin is like, I, I'm not sure I can help you now, but if you if you do help me, I, I could not see a problem in arranging for a couple alcoholic drinks for the party. How much time do you think we have before we reach okay. the island? Uh, I would definitely say probably 10 hours before we actually reach the island. 
Baldwin, have you seen a beardless, scruffy, pirate-looking guy with a strong dislike for skeletons around anywhere? Uh, that is very specific, and no, I have not. Are you guys missing someone? Yes, we are. Yes, yes. what about a pale-skinned girl with white hair? Uh, no, no, I haven't seen any other uh, females on the... Uh... On the have shed, you seen a? Have you seen a? YouTube. Have Have you seen a clown with uh, blue hair and an orange hat? A, a clown. What is a clown? Yo, I want you to like go in the corner and tie yourself up. I swear. Blue did you really just make a buggy? Did you really just make a buggy to clown reference in the middle of? <laughs> okay. Yeah, Bob doesn't Seeker know Bell. what the clown is. Bell, lock. <laughs> is lock still up high somewhere? Wow. Uh, yeah, uh, Lorcan is, uh, I think, uh, picking up arrows and, uh, the, like, he pocketed the bow. I've already done that. Okay, Lorcan. He just calls, he just looks up and calls up a Lorcan. Lorcan. What? You do us a favor? You're the closest to the you're the closest to the lookout. You and you and you and Kitty change spots every five hours. You're first on lookout. Think you can do that? Uh that's fun. I'll be getting climb last. Right, good, good. In the meantime, uh Seagabell. I know you'd like to sleep or like to drink away, but I'd at least like to examine you two a little more, just in case there's a weird side effect. <laughs> Still looking at Nugget and uh... <laughs> Mimi over uh, there? I would like to as well. I would like to uh, document what's going on with you after drinking the water from the but... fountain. What? Uh, uh... Is there any left in the cargo bay, or do you know? I brought some so I could pour it into the fountain in case the creatures have messed with the fountain on the island. Not sure. Baloney hands think over any, any, the bottle. Any, any left below. Oh, okay. Baloney hands over the bottle that he took it from the inventory. Oh, well, well thank you, thank you, thank you. Lorcan stays quiet anything. about his bottle. Or this might not be a lot, you, but uh, guess it. You know, alchemic. You know, scientific processes. Look, uh, about asking Lorca. You know, scientific processes. How are you talking to me? I'm up. not Lorca. I'm talking to Baldwin. You know, scientific processes. Uh, by which, what means? I'm, I'm sorry. Like, you got a flask. You got a flask. Uh, a pot to boil it. I'd like to see what would happen when we experiment with this oh, stuff. Oh, um, if, if this is all I have left, I would like to save it, if that's fine. Who, who all, who all picked up a bottle of that? I think it was, um, Bologna, Lorcan, Lorcan and maybe. Slim? No. No, no, I would single. single. Oh, single. But he drank all of his. Oh, yeah, never mind, yeah. so you guys just have two. Okay. So yeah, I would Lorcan. I would like to I would like to approach Baldwin and whisper to him that Lorcan has a bottle. Oh okay. Uh, if you're trying to be sneaky, roll stealth. Well, I mean, I guess Lorcan is on the mast, yeah. isn't he? Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it wouldn't matter. He's he's up there in the in the crow's nest. Yeah. Unless he gets in that one. Yeah, they trying to sell me up. That's 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 okay. Thank you, dwarf. Uh, hey, 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 hey. It doesn't matter. No, no <laughs> reward is too much uh, for the restoration of the temple. I'm sure we can make do with this. And then he uh, bows to you, Baloney. Hey, Baloney? And thanks, yes. Um, if we restore the temple, can we have the temple? You. So, so you want... hasty to always work. So hasty to always blow something up, aren't you? Give out act work. I Duh. don't think I can. I don't think I have the uh, right to give you the temple since it belongs to our God. 
Would you like to ask for the island next? Can we have the island? Again, belongs to our god, so I'm not sure if I have, uh... Do you have any moving bananas? Any what? <laughs> did you, Stop! Did you drink the, uh... The fountain water as well? He questions you, Slim. As you're... No, he's oh. just dumb. Oh. Just ignore her. Just ignore her. See, Decky. Will you be alright? Uh, what would happen if you put some of that magic water stuff on a banana peel? Uh, I'm not for sure. I really haven't experimented with it. Uh, because it is pretty much our, uh, key to life. Uh, that's why I'm very cautious about using this final bottle that I have in my possession, thanks to you. I see, I see. You see, Gvo, hmm. if we find some more of that substance, I'd like to test it on different things, including a banana we, peel whenever possible. We can in refill the, meantime, it the island, right? Uh, if there is still water in the fountain, yes. If it is dry, this may be the last bottle, and my island may be in danger if we do not... Uh, get this temple uh, back up to where it needs I'd to be. I'd be careful. I'd be careful, though. <clears throat> that substance should not come in contact with any part of your body. You have to be extra careful to make sure that it doesn't touch you. Who knows what kind of nasty thing, who knows what kind of nasty effects it could have. Like he'll just throw his eyes towards, you know, still looking at those two. Yeah. Uh, in the single, meantime. Single nuggets now light green, too. See, Gabo just like, just like mouth slightly open at that. In the meantime, in the meantime, single nuggets enjoying himself. Mm -hmm. In the meantime, Jang, I'll leave the ba Jang, I'll leave babysitting the sleeping lizard to you. <laughs> Talking about the cobalt over there, I'll leave it to you. Okay. But yeah. Uh, Jang, you going to try to tie him up, or? Uh, I'm fine not tying him up. Okay. Just do me. But a I will keep my uh, I will keep my great uh, my short uh my short sword at hand. Okay, you guys just see like Jane kind of like sit on the cobalt with her great axe. Okay. Hand. Just you should give out. Okay, just one little favor. Just make sure you take it to the deepest part of the ship before you start messing with it. Just don't need to hear excessive screaming. Baloney's just gonna go sit down and start playing his bagpipes. Okay. Um, Baloney, you, you guys see about, Oh, sorry. The boat walks towards the stern, not the stern, whatever the front part of the ship is, and just sits down and opens the book. Okay. You open the spell book. Uh -huh. Yeah, as uh as Baloney starts playing on the bagpipes, you guys feel a little more uh eased about the situation. Now having uh no cobalts left besides the one that's unconscious and then uh Baldwin is feeling very, very at ease compared to what had happened earlier, losing part of his crew or well, most of his crew beside himself and being saved by uh strangers that he still doesn't know your origins, but he's not, you know, going to pry too much. He's just thankful for being saved. Um, and as you read in the spell book, uh, Gavelt, you see more and more of this language that you don't understand. And a bunch of notes are written in it. He keeps, like, turning the page. Is it the further he goes in the book, the more that language is there? Uh... Yeah, it's it's like most of the back part of the of your spell book is this language and notes in this language. Unlike I would never write anything that is outside of my trained lexicon. It's impossible. He says, he says that is mine. It's oh, irritating. Oh well you can you can see that it's it's definitely not your handwriting that this is done in. 
This book left me 10,000 years ago. Who exactly wrote, who exactly learned how to write in this, learn how to write in this word? Fair enough. Seek of just looking at it, like, can he, let, let me roll to see if he can tell what kind of language this is. Okay, like, what do I have to roll, uh, roll, roll a straight intelligence for me and we'll see where that gets you. 1d20, intelligence, modifier, plus 4. Plus four. See what Miki has in store for me. Probably something <laughs> say never mind. I don't know, Miki, Miki can be good sometimes. And then Miki sometimes hell not no. responsive. Miki said hell no. Vogt is Vogt is doing this. Mimi takes his water oh, skin wow. again. Oh, okay. Huggles with it and goes to take a nap. Alright, uh, you do not know this language, but, uh, from thinking about, uh, Mother, you know that this is a language of gods, uh, Gavelt. What else is thinking? <sighs> You're just like, you know, just looking irritated. This is just his face palming. There's several dialects of God. Several. <laughs> what God would want to write in my book? You could ask uh, people for help, too. Mm -hmm. I don't understand languages. Yeah, the boat looks around. Help. The boat looks around. Like for whoever the closest person is, because everybody's just chilling. Hmm. Who would be closest to the, the front part of the ship? Sorry, I'm not too uh, knowledgeable about the ships, so <laughs> I don't know what to call. I'm gonna search up. Okay, okay search up starboard. Uh, well, that's that's like right and left. Yeah, yeah. starboard and uh, or starboard. Mast. I think that's Mast the, big the middle. Hole. Yeah, the big. Yeah. I think. Wait, is port in front? I, I don't know. I think that's either right or left. I think. Louis, that is not a good idea. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't think port is left. I know Star Wars is right. Um, just kidding. Bless you. Uh, Thank you. I, port is left. Uh, okay. no, it, it, it don't uh, matter. It don't matter. Who, it who, does who, matter. Who would be closer to Gavelt? Or like, who I would go it. chill at the front? I found hold. Hard. I found the word is hold. Oh. No, bow. Just kidding, yeah, yeah. Bow and, bow, bow and stern. Are you still on this? Yes, bow's, bow's the front, stern's the back. Would Slim be at the bow? <laughs> yes, <Okay>. yes. <laughs> so you have would Slim it? by you. Would anybody else be up here? Hideki said he was going to rest, so I don't know where he would rest at, though, either on the ship. Mimi, or... Mimi is there, but Mimi is taking a nap. He's Yeah, he's just, his back is up against the mast. Okay. Um, uh, oh, what? Yeah, and the Lorcrin's up top. Uh, ye... Yeah, Lorcrin could probably Lorcrin could probably see Gavel down there since he's probably observing him. Anyway, you see, Lorcrin could see like um, Gavel just like make a hand gesture, yeah. and you see like um, Slim or whoever's closest. Just Slim. We're gonna say Slim's right there. Slim just walk walking over there towards Gavel. And okay, now you see Gavel, Slim. Can you. Can I ask you something? Sure, boo. Go ahead. Please, don't call me boo. But you don't need it. to sass me, Gavel. Okay. Gavel, <laughs> can you read this? I'll try. Roll. Oh, <laughs> what, what languages do you know, uh, Slim? Let me check. Um... I know Elvish, uh, or Elven, Common. Um, wait, the last two languages on, uh, okay, I think my Mythweavers is actually accurate, more accurate. Let me log in. <laughs> I think you get three as an elf. 
Yeah, yeah, I do. But yeah, like, um, I messed up. Deep speed. I messed up on Orc Pub, but like my uh, Mythweaver sheet actually has my accurate language. Okay, okay. Up. Just let me know whenever you uh, get it up. Because I technically, let me check the languages I have. Because I know he speaks deep, but uh, recently for whatever reason, Orc Pub let me pick another one. But I'm gonna take it off. Um, uh, I speak um, Elven. Uh, common and um, inferno. Okay, it is not any of those. <laughs> like it's not infernal. If it was elven or common, Gavelt would have been able to read it. Yeah, and you suck. <laughs> so she. What he does? What do you want me to say? He doesn't suck. See Gavelt. Thank you. I see Gavelt. Thank you. I appreciate. I appreciate. Anytime. He just said that in mind. This is looking up. Why would you do this? Like, you know, to picture an even tie. Why would you do this? Are, Are you speaking you... out loud? He's saying this in his mind. Why would you do this? Am I able to climb down the mast uh, and see if I could help? Yeah, yeah, you can. Oh, that wouldn't be uh, a check or anything. It's a, it's a pretty good boat, so. The uh, yeah. little step ladder is pretty good, like going up. Uh, I'll come down the ladder and uh, approach Gavilt. Uh, I have trouble reading it. Hmm. But I told you to stay up there. But yeah, I am having problems reading it. <laughs> you just said that I told you. I thought you were supposed to be up there. But yes, I am having a problem reading this book. It's uh, embarrassing. It's embarrassing. If you'd like, I, I could read it for you. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. You did some studying while you were gone, I suppose. Uh, he turned, is he going to turn the book towards him? Can I uh, use comprehend languages? Yeah, you can. Uh, to understand it? Yeah. You have to roll for that? Uh, nope. This, okay. is, uh, this is Celestial. And it looks like a bunch of notes. <laughs> like, you're skimming through it, Lorcan. It looks like a bunch of notes uh, about demons in the abyss. Okay. Uh, can I make a mental note of what I read and uh, then just read make, the make information? An, yeah, make an intelligence check for me. Okay. Uh, uh, intelligence. Okay. Nineteen. Okay. Nineteen. You, you can uh, see that. Uh, the part you're skimming through, the gist of it is, is how to uh, remove uh, the abyss from a uh, from a creature. The, it's oh. uh, a, like pretty much like notes of experiments uh, done on demons. All right, uh, I translate the notes to uh, Gavelt. Hey, uh, Gavelt, really? Huh. And then I return to the mast. All right. So yeah, you found out that there are notes on how to, uh, or at least people, someone was trying to remove the abyss from something. He well looks towards the ocean. Like you, you didn't see anything, right? Just no sun or lantern. No, or... no, it's just the ocean. The abyss. Uh, it's a message. He, he just looks at his book. It's a message. I need to continue to decipher it more. Uh, <laughs> with that, uh, I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say we're about to end here in a little bit. But if anybody wants to do anything, let me know now. Or, uh, let me let me know. Think uh, about. Hmm. Hey, you think about say one last thing. Hmm. You see, Laura Prince advanced at his magical studies further than I thought. <laughs> Translation spell. So. Uh, I'd like to uh, put ointment on my leg and wrap it before we before we get to Okay. So can I do that? Yeah, yeah. You you got plenty of time to do that. 
You guys uh, also have time to rest, if, like, you know, if you're wanting to rest up before you make it to land. Is it a long or short rest? If we are doing the resting, can Baloney do that, um, song of rest thing to uh, try to... You can, but oh. this will this will be a long rest, so everybody will get full health, but, uh, you can, you can play your bagpipes like you were earlier to, like, settle everybody down. Like, I'm supposed oh, to be on so the I guess that is kind of what happened anyway, yeah. then, huh? Ba Baldwin is, uh... Baldwin's, uh, you know, really appreciative of you playing. It's kind of taking his mind off of uh, the tragedies that has uh, happened on the ship. I, I asked mm. Baldwin if he's ever heard of One Piece. Uh, oh, gosh. Yeah, Bald Baldwin, he, he's pretty much like... Uh, I, I, like, I don't know, like, he's kind of ignoring you now, Slim. <laughs> <laughs> Baldwin says, you mean the bathing suit? <laughs> He's kind of ignoring what Slim is, like, trying to, like, convey to him. Falu wants to know if Jang would have time to tinker with Minnie's paddle. Uh, I could probably tinker it with yeah, it while I'm... You um... guys got ten hours, so if you want to do a long rest, you got eight hours for that, and you do have two extra hours you can, uh, roll to tinker with it. Hey Baldwin, do you have any? Uh, oh wait, I have to do this. Hey Baldwin, do you have any uh, extra uh, special wood around, or like uh, just strong trees that are willingly able to be have sticks pulled off the branches? Uh, we're kind of on a ship. Uh, I oh, would. Oh my bad. I would recommend yes. you though when you get on land. Please do not disturb the nature there. You say, uh, Gavel, would you, <clears throat> you said you have gold, right? I do, yes. Do you happen to have charcoal on this ship? Charcoal. I'm sorry, <sighs> I, I do not have any charcoal. I can get mm. you some, though, if uh, that is That'd a request. Nice. It would be nice, yes. And, uh,. Perhaps a brass brazier. Perhaps something brazier. to burn. Something to something to burn. I, okay. Does it... When 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 we are finished, and uh, I'm sure uh, we'll have uh, time to discuss things. I can definitely see what I can do. Uh, for yeah, the... I need a, a brazier or a bucket of some kind to burn. It'll be Does useful this for later. Wait, so I can't even, uh, pick up sticks on the ground when uh, we get to the island? Uh, he is, he told you not to, he would not disturb the nature at, of the okay. island. Okay. Baloney is going to offer Hideki a banana since they're both leaning against the mass. Uh, Hideki takes the banana and eats it and now fist bumps Baloney. Yeah. I'm gonna say Baloney's <laughs> like, keep, Baloney's like, keep the peel, trust me. <laughs> Is there a flag on the top of the mass of ship? Uh, no, there's no flag. Okay. <laughs> Should I roll just a straight d20 to tinker with the paddle? Yeah, yeah roll me a d20, please. 17. Okay. Uh, yeah, but, uh... You see Jang, uh, adding some little, uh... I'm trying to think of what they're called. Like, little rings around it of, uh just metal that you got from like the smash barrels of the paddle and it's uh it's because it's gotten a little more sturdy you think a little uh more tinkering in the future uh you'll be able to make it to where it deals more damage damn it i guess if i'm gonna do if i'm gonna do a last minute thing i'm just gonna grab banana for my inventory Okay, alright, all right. add a banana to your inventory. I, I would uh, say that you can add that arm to your inventory, uh, to your inventory if you want to keep it single. Could I have someone... Okay, sorry, uh, what, what's up, Lord? Oh, could I have someone toss me a banana? I, I totally forgot about the barrel bananas. Uh, you could, you could ask, uh, single as he's doing I'd say he can do that. Baloney tosses him... Baloney, like, grabbed a handful of bananas, so okay. he'll toss 
Lorcan one. Okay, because he's right under the mask. Uh, roll a dexterity uh, throw for me. Oh no. <laughs> me? <laughs> yep. Please tell me. Should should I do it? Well, I fire it with my bow. No, Baloney has to throw the banana. Uh, While they're talking stuff. Water they're talking stuff, the little dead. Dexterity? Really yes. 13. 13. Yeah, yeah, you get it. Oh, damn it. I get the banana, you said? Yeah, yeah, you get it. Okay. I was hoping you would he just He should do a dexterity check to see if he catches it, though. No, he's fine. He's fine. Like, 13, that was a good throw. Okay. I was hoping you just tagged Lork over the fit in the head with a banana. Can I hit a banana? Uh, no. Yeah, you can. Yeah, and, uh, like, if everybody's good, uh, I'm gonna... Uh, uh, oh, go vote Axe. The Lord of Dex are a wooden lock. Is it possible that I can burn them? Wait, uh, what, what, what are you trying to burn? Uh, Viva la Mexico! There are, there are wooden boxes below the deck. Would that be Viva la Mexico? Uh, y yeah, uh, Baldwin says they're a little wet, but you could try. I'll make sure. You see, I'll take the moisture out of them and I'll burn them. I think about just walk, you know, just walk downstairs and, you know, end it from there. Okay, all right. Uh, thank you guys again for playing with me, and uh, thank you guys for stopping by and watching us. I appreciate it. Uh, shout out to our uh, regular viewers, if I can bring it up. I know DT is uh, one of them, and then Electrical, Skateboard, and Longboard. Thank you guys. For also, coming. shout out to our sponsor, KFC. Yeah, our sponsor. Uh, no, they're not sponsoring us. Our, uh, I don't know, unpaid shout out, to, shout out to Act 2, <laughs> shout out to Act 2 Popcorn, whenever to get your popcorn. And, uh, your also, date. thanks for stopping by Cog Whistle. Hopefully, uh, you're here, uh, more often, or you want to stop by next stream. Um, if you want to catch up, or if you haven't, we do have the archives on YouTube, and I will be uploading this one later. And thank all you YouTube cats for stopping by and watching. We appreciate you. Mm. And, oh, uh, one little announcement. This month, I will be starting a end-of-the-month stream where uh, you guys can ask questions. Like, if you put them in Discord and tag me. Uh, or in chat. Uh, somebody will probably see it, but we'll answer questions. Or, well, I will. Uh, regarding any characters? Yeah, regarding the like characters and the world uh, around. And we do... Uh, Prioritize Patreon though, so if there are any patrons, they will be uh, their questions will be answered, and they will, depending on how many uh, there are at the time. Like, uh, if I want to say I can get like three people in the stream uh, with us, so like Patreons, I definitely invite to the stream. Uh, and, but thank you guys again. Uh, I hope you guys have a nice night, and thank you guys again for playing with me. Uh, we're going to stop the recording.